Welcome to episode 81 of The Bracket. Today, we have Fight Song. We also have Clemmer on. Clemmer and Tom will be in two seconds as they're wrapping up the rundown right now. Today, we're going to be doing a bracket of the, what do we call it? Citizenship Fouls. Fails. Fails? Uh, fouls oh, is foul good. Works foul, fouls, yeah. is, fouls is what you texted me. I like Fouls better. Yeah. yeah. That was, this was your idea. Yes, it was. Yeah, very good I, th- I spent a lot of time thinking about these. Yeah, these are some very interesting ones. And I think one of the ones, when I posted this on Twitter, got the most replies. Really? Oh. People have a lot of anger towards their fellow yeah, citizens. Mine, Especially is, in the city. mine was hard to pinpoint because I have so many. Yeah. That I, I actually I, I gave you one that was all encompassing. Yes. But it is it is it's a hard thing to do because everything annoys me at such a high level. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's violations of the unwritten rules. It's it's uh violations of the social contract. Um anything that would make you a bad neighbor. Not outright crimes, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But things that uh, you know, if you were to police them, you might be called a Karen. Mm. Uh, things like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Things that like in the moment where they make me angry, I wish they were crimes, so that mm-hmm. that person could be prosecuted. Right. If that makes sense. Right. The um, I'd also like to start this with a quick aside. I will not be doing quick asides on this. You yelled at me last time that I make the show too long. And it's I, been it's been in my head nonstop. So it's my first show since, and I'm not doing quick asides. That's the end of my quick. No quick asides. We do have some play in, so you'll have time. To, you'll have some room to roll. Okay. Some of these, and if you have a relevant story, I don't want to dissuade you from from telling it. I'll I'll I'll, I'll we'll only do the top. Two. The one time we made fun of you was because you were like, oh, uh, I'll make this story really quick. Uh, I was born on in Midwest in, in a fucking <laughs> rainy day. Like it was that one was rough. Uh, okay, but yeah, we, before we do that, we can talk a little bit about Dave. You guys know about Dave.com? <coughs> when we Yo, f- when first got ads, yeah, when we first got, when we first got ads for Dave.com, I thought it was like a Dave thing. Like Dave was trying to get us to do something for him. <laughs> I thought he made his own website. It's not. Uh, Dave.com, you know what? It's June. And that means it's officially summertime. As much as we love summer, it seems like everything ramps up in the summer months, including spending. Spent a lot of money on darts weekend this, this couple, this, uh, so summer. mad I missed that. I got far too. You were you weren't there. No, I I was I had a ticket. You were asking me or him. You know what? This is what this is this is called an aside. This is an aside. I was asked. It's not in the side. I was still in the ad. Yeah, we're still in the ad. We're in an ad, and you said I was sad not to be there. It was you were there, right? I was like, no, I was sad not to be there. You guys are fueling it. You started it though. He said you were there. No, he said I spent a lot of money on darts this weekend. You said I'm so sad I missed that. Did I start it? You went in too. All right, if I started it, that's... You did an aside for an app. Right away. <laughs> right away. I, I, I just finished up my I'm not doing asides. This it was interesting. A lot of us, we, we had a few. Uh, Gooch, do you want to tell what you caught me doing the second we sat down in our seats? Okay. <laughs> no. We, we show we up. Are we still in the ad? Here, we we show it. up. We sit down in our seats at Madison Square Garden. Who is I here? look over to Kinjack. And he is just hunched over with the Seamless app open, just yeah. scrolling through food. Look Vile. <laughs> I went home after like a what half What is hour. Dave.com? Wait, dude, we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> after <laughs> Absurd oh, we're, ad. We're talking about spending. Okay. Spending in the summer. We uh, I got home and I just had I had a, a chicken Caesar salad wrap, a plain hamburger, and a side of beans <laughs> waiting for me. <laughs> you are, that's fat. Uh, no, that is as fat as, as it gets. Uh, but anyway, higher temperatures mean a higher energy bill. My last one was rough. That weekend trip to the beach means more money spent on gas. And you didn't want your friends to join you. At, you know, you want to join your friends at the outdoor concerts. If you went to, you probably went to Taylor Swift, right? Come on. Yeah. I mean, stuff like that. You want to decide? Do you have any stories? No. <laughs> uh, not to mention overdraft fees. A nice coffee should never end up costing you $38 after bank fees. Um, I mean, we... I like we just said, spent a bunch of money on unnecessary stuff going to starts weekend. Uh, and you know what? Three found the three friends that founded Dave were tired of experiencing this level of financial stress, and they were frustrated by the lack of help from big banks to help their customers. And you know that in 2020, Americans paid up to 12.4 billion dollars in overdraft fees to big banks. That's a lot of money. Dave recognizes that everyday life shouldn't be stressful, and it aims to the level of financial playing f- to level the financial playing field and help you when you're out in a, in a pinch. The banking app then can help you get up to five hundred dollars instantly with extra cash. Also, Dave cares deeply about its members, meaning that they provide services with no interest, late fees, or credit check. The more money to fill your tank, you got money to get your car repaired, catch up on bills, and not wait for your next paycheck. Download the Dave app. 
from the app store right now or go to dave.com slash lcb that's dave.com slash lcb sign up for an extra cash account and get up to 500 dollars inst- instantly for terms and conditions go to dave.com slash legal instant transfer fees apply banking services provided by the evolve bank and trust member of the fdic uh all right you guys ready to roll let's do it let's do it while these fuckers ran, uh, wrap up the million year long rundown here's clemmer and tommy coming in uh, fucking take your time you ghoul Jesus Christ, man. What is he doing? I don't know. Anyway, our first matchup of the day. Uh, we have What the- was Dave.com? <laughs> it's a banking app, man. <laughs> what were you doing at the darts? Looking- we were talking about extra spending. He's looking, at- uh, of money. Oh, shit. He's looking for food. I thought it was like a food delivery Booze. app. No, no, no. I'll check it out. We're talking about spending extra money. Clemmer's in. Tommy pooping? I got a good feeling oh, you're going to have to make Sunday. good on that ad read. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. It's gonna be another. You're gonna need a. You're gonna owe a few from that one. Uh, our first uh, matchup of the day is the number five seed versus the twelve seed. The five seed, very simple one, playing music or talking on a sp- on speakerphone without headphones. It's a strong. It's a strong mm. one. Yeah. So that's a very very rough one, especially on trains. Yes. Commuting, it's I think the the worst offense if you're on a commuter mm-hmm. train, uh, and that's up against the twelve seed. The twelve seed is using self checkout when you have way too many items. I feel like this applies more specifically to grocery shopping, but that's that's not one I run into very often. At like grocery store, I feel like I run into it too often. I don't do a ton of grocery shopping. That makes sense too. Yeah, spending a lot on seamless. I spend a little too much on seamless. Yeah. <laughs> so the first match of fights, you can go ahead and go first. Then this is a no-brainer for me. This is easy. Again, I don't I don't do shopping enough. I have. The market I live next to is pretty quick. It doesn't even have like self checkout lines. It's just all easy. If I'm in public and someone's talking on their phone, the things I do in my head are for sure in violation of international laws. You are the the bottom of the barrel scumbag. FaceTime has made it worse too, like the advent of FaceTime. Dude, it's, it's crazy. People do it. You're just walking home. People will do it. They just have their speakerphone. Like you'll be at a red light, not a red light. You don't. You can't cross, yeah. and they'll just have their have it in their ear. Just use it like a regular phone. Yeah, that's People what don't. Do. It's crazy. They'll put it on speaker and then put it up. They'll hold it like a regular phone. That's, that's what I mean. It's, that's one of the crazier things I've ever seen. It's just use it. the phone. The phone is so intuitive. It's made to do that. Mm-hmm. And then they they break laws of all science and logic and put it on speakerphone and just put it in your as if you need to hear the conversation too. It doesn't make any sense, Ken Jack. Mm-hmm. No, I agree with you. So you're going with the music and speakerphone. That's our first matchup, by the way, Tommy. Uh, using or playing music or being loud on speakerphone while you're in a public place versus taking too long at self checkout or bringing a bunch of items into self checkout. Uh, KB. Yeah. Playing a song, watching a video on the subway. Like they, they, it's purely malicious. They don't. They are not enjoying it. They just want to annoy you. Mm-hmm. The bl- and when they have a Bluetooth speaker or something too, yeah, they're gonna. Should the be- Bluetooth at least. May- I don't. Enjoy so you're it. out on. I f- will talk on my phone with my AirPods in. That's, yeah, no, that's, that's different. That's, that's different. Fine. No, that's different. I don't want to hear the other end of the. No, call. Yeah, so yeah, not. I've always thought that. But you know what's weird is if you heard two people talking to each other on the train, you wouldn't bat an eye. But if you hear a person talking to someone on Facetime, it seems way more rude. I can hear the other person clearly. I, it's not the scratchy speaker. Yeah, fair. They're also louder. Yeah. Like they're screaming on their phone. Yeah, it's not yeah. like a quiet conversation. I agree. Like being yeah, touched by a cold hand, it's jarringly different. And and it's just happening every second. I'll, I'll add to this, because I, based on the prompt, I thought this was included. If someone is watching a TV show on their phone on the subway yeah. with no headphones oh, in, yes. or also bad playing a game like Candy Crush Worst. with the sound effects on. Or typing yes. with the keyboard yeah, the sound keyboard on. Oh my yeah. god. The video yeah. game is the worst. Bing, 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 bing. Terrorism. I, I think if your phone makes any kind of noise, if you have your phone on, if, if your phone isn't on silent, there is something very, very wrong with you. Mm-hmm. It should be, it's, your phone should never, ever make a noise. Mm-hmm. How about people who just walk through like the city playing a stereo? Yeah. Just their own music. Good. It's like, you're listening to this today. How, How those people okay? are lauded yeah, as heroes. It. They're lauded as bringing heroes? the joy to the city. <laughs> they're like they're famous. So they're like humans of New York. will do pieces on them. That's crazy. Mm. But well, <laughs> some fucking AirPods. Try to think of a song that would make you, <laughs> like if they were doing an EDM playlist. You'd be in on them. Yeah, Martin sometimes Garrett. I like it when if it's a good song, yeah, I don't Tate mind. Tate McRae. Yeah, you you come by some classic rock. Yeah, Tate, Tate McRae. Smooth rock. Yeah. 
If you're going through playing like Pearl Jam, I feel like it'd be a little different. Oh, right. right. Well, the that's it. Oh, that'd be right. awesome. Yeah. You don't go biking through the city playing. Pure I pure. would enjoy that. I hear a lot. Uh, it's usually not this ups. again. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fair take. So I spent a, I spent a few days with Clemmer, and he speaks as if he single-handedly experienced the '80s and '90s, <laughs> some <laughs> alternate society, and it's a utopia that he has to go tell people about. You see that slander I just had to deal with the anti Pearl Jam slander. So not anti Pearl Jam. All right, that's what it felt like. I was defensive. You just don't want anyone playing like one of those like tubes that rolls and then play music on it with a little scratching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Uh, Tommy. Yeah, this is tough. Uh, Self-checkout line I really hate. I, I've often, I, I've thought that if I could pass a law, you'd have to like do a speed test to use the self-checkout line. I hate when people take forever. I try to always impress everyone with my speed at which I do it. But that being said, there's always other self-checkout lines to go to usually. Uh, someone just like a, a total lack of, and at least they're trying. Like they might be slow, but they're trying to get everything into their bag. Just a total lack of respect and compassion for other human beings. If you're just blasting music or whatever on your phone on a subway, a uh, Long Island Railroad, or whatever it may be, you're a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. It'd be tough, I feel like, for that one to be topped. Francis? I don't really get, I find the self checkout lines hard. And anytime that I'm forced to use them, I. I dislike it because I buy a lot of produce and oftentimes the produce doesn't have the barcode. So you then have to put your four heads of asparagus on the thing and then find in their list of items Code. where that is and then put it. You know what I mean? It just you takes don't have to pay for that. Usually if it's too hard to find, <laughs> you just don't have to pay for it. Yeah. Well, my point being that the self checkout line thing, I, I almost don't know that there is in my mind a violation of that. If someone has too many items, is that their fault? I think they mean like the express checkout. You know how like you use have the like, wrong, the, they use the wrong items. Oh, that's not what the prompt was. It was it was people who have too many items for the express uh, for the self checkout. Right? I wouldn't say too many items, just moving too slowly. That's it. Yeah, I guess it's one and the same in, in, in a certain yeah. way. You know, if someone has a lot of items and they're moving quickly, I wouldn't mind that. If someone has yeah. four items and they're moving slowly, that would be. Yeah. I think Clemmer's is more of a violation of of the citizenship thing, which is to bring more than you know ten items into the express checkout line, mm-hmm. especially if it's over like seventeen or twenty, and you're just that to me is yeah. But regardless, it's got to be the listening to. The music I I have once said to someone, um, I'm so sorry. Would you mind not having the sound on for your game yeah, on a train? What did they say? And they said, "Oh, sorry." And they turned the sound off. And what type of train? It was on a train down to the Jersey Shore. Oh, okay. Number so of like summers New ago, New Jersey Transit. New Jersey Transit. I was gonna say if it was like a subway in Manhattan, they'd be like, "Buddy, there's worse yeah. things." Happening no, on this train. no, it was a quiet train, and we'd been listening to the blip for. Yeah, I mean, an hour and a half before I finally gathered the courage. I, I looked around and I said, who will be the hero? Yeah. And finally, I said, if you, you, you know, you have to do it yourself. And I did. And he said, oh, yeah, sorry. And he turned it off. And then as I walked back to my seat, everyone looked at me, clapped, nodded. Oh. That was a really United 93 moment for you, huh? <laughs> I look for these moments <laughs> left and right. 9-11, baby. Let's roll. Never forget. <laughs> I look for these moments left and right. This is my favorite topic. It is the sound one. And I guess the question I would have is, what if you were the person that was listening and someone asked you to turn off the sound is there anything they can say other than fuck you mm. is there any justification for it no no none i don't i don't have headphones they broke it makes them playing the game better i guess like in theory having the sound might improve their game and shit i'm just trying to think of any possible reason why they would have it on I feel like but then this. put headphones on and if, I you, agree. Don't, if I agree. you don't have your headphones then just don't fuck it's the worst noise in the world i'm not defending the action i'm trying to come up with a reason why they would have it on yeah, if your headphones are broke, like that's the price you're paying now. You use that you cannot have sound in right. a public place. I love the idea of someone so passive aggressive as to carry very cheap uh, headphones with them, earbuds, as like, like they do on Delta or whatever, just in case that person says, oh, "I don't have headphones," and you can yeah. hand them to them. Mm-hmm. I would have thought that you would have voted for self checkout. I feel like you probably do that a lot. 
No, I I don't really. If I'm honest, more of a joke about self checking yourself out, more of an Adonis type of. I guess the joke was so poor that it was hard <laughs> for me to realize. <laughs> really, zero of us picked up. Yeah. I mean, you went like, over. That's a banger one. Yeah. yeah, it is a good joke, but you. It's all about delivering it badly. Yeah, yeah. Clever. Yeah, it's the phone. I was at the Mets game on Sunday, and I blame parents for this, not the kid. But there's a little kid near us who is playing the video game. You know, five or six year old video game. Yeah, and they're they're, (laughs) bling 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 bling, bling, all these crazy noises. It's just so annoying, and it's not the kid's fault. The kid doesn't know. You know, five or six year old doesn't know. It's the parent. Why do parents think that they're like? I know that maybe they don't hear it. I don't know if it's white noise to them. Or they don't give a shit, or they're just like, I have a kid, so fuck you, everyone's punished. He's autistic, he has an aversion to the feeling of headphones squeezing his ears. Mm. I mean, I guess oh, there's probably so ex- once in a while that happens, but I, I, it happens enough where I don't think there's that much of that. I think it's just parents being just assholes and don't care. Mm. I don't know what happens. You, you, you have a kid, and some people just become complete assholes. Maybe they were assholes ahead of time, I don't know. I will say, I feel like some of those parents, they just get worn down. You know what I mean? Not like, my fault. A lot in the beginning, and then like over time, they I think you're right. Don't care less what people think. You're going to be such a bad father. <laughs> I'm going to be awesome <laughs> because I'll care about other people. Like I'll be like, hey, you know, buddy, you know, you know, we're out in public. Got to throw the ear, got to throw the headset on or whatever. The earpods or the kids are calling. It. Yes, sir, dad. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> Problem Somewhere averted. Like that. Uh, che. Uh, I mean. The only people that are complaining about the self checkouts are the stinky piss apar- asparagus people. This is easy landslide, no headphones. Like, especially living in New York City, this is like uh, almost maybe a one seed. Mm. It's very high. It's a five. It's up there. There's some that are going to be. I think you you'll have above it. Uh, the music and speaker phone's going to move on. Next up is the number four seed, being rude to service employees, and that'll include not tipping for and this for servers, not for. Someone hands you an iced coffee and you don't tip them 20% on the iPad. That doesn't... I, I'm sensing uh, a rebuke to tipping culture coming. That's what I was going to say as well. Yeah. It's, it's coming. I'm I, starting I to agree, see a Tom. few more Twitter threads. My friends like, are starting to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. when It's you a know. whisper that's becoming a growl. Yeah. It's a whisper. <laughs> I made a real conscious, for us. real conscious decision the other night. I went, I picked up two pieces of pizza at, this, at the pizzeria and it said, you know, option to tip. And I really stare. I stare at it. And I say, you know what? No, I'm. I'm just. I'm getting fucking two slices of pizza. You don't tip. I didn't get it delivered. I'm just picking up two slices of pizza. You're talking about the iPad, right? Yeah, the iPad. Right. I, you, know, you know what? I. I, I may recently, never tip again. The, I, if we can all in this room agree, it is so hard to talk while there's just fighting going on out there. I don't know what's going yeah. on. Uh, this is the whole production. So, like, there's there's like seven guy. cameras filming someone. Too many cameras. I don't like it. Yeah, it's a, a big pole. There. There's, there's a lot going on out there. Boom, man. It's, it's just, they're the just filming a punch. <laughs> um, but the I recently I went to see the movie Blackberry, which is fantastic. Good and movie. I got um, yeah, that was good. Froyo beforehand. And I couldn't. <laughs> Have possibly done this more by myself. <laughs> I, 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 I got the cup, and like, it's not even behind the counter. Uh-huh. It's it's in the, like the main. I forget the name of the, the the froyo place, but I make my own froyo. I do my own scoops. I weigh it myself. I paid for it seven bucks and change, whatever it was, and they flipped it over the iPad. And it didn't start at, usually it's like 15, 18, 20, whatever. Oh, it's gone up. It was 20, 25, 20, 30. No. Yes. What? Oh, was, no. Well, no. I, could, I couldn't possibly, the person didn't have to be there. <laughs> I couldn't possibly yeah. been more of a self-sufficient effort. And I, I'm still too much of a pussy. I did still tip. But it was, that was the one that like, I'll look back at one day and be like, that's why we don't tip in America anymore. Because of that fucking self-serve. They, they these people are piggybacking on the pandemic yep. era sympathy. Yes. Yep. When it was, we all, yes, they did deserve. Jobs were lost. We we all ponied up. We all said, okay, we get it. People need help. We will tip. And now, no one, there was no reversion. There's never, there's never going to be one. There was never a, hey, restaurants are it's back. Coming. Okay, we'll go. Yeah. It's coming. I, I feel bad. Feel it. I feel it was bad the- for servers, like, who actually deserve tips, work for yeah, tips. Yeah, I yeah, agree. So I'm starting to get angry about tipping all the time now, and I never felt like that before. Waiters and waitresses always tip. Yes. Bartenders always yes. tip. You got to. Delivery people always tip. Yeah, they, they, the, the, well, I yeah, tip my laundry guy. Tip. Yeah, I resort him to tears with my large tips. Yeah, <laughs> really? yeah. tip your laundry guy. That see the services that I think are the most 
I'm trying. I mean, official. I do my own, so I save don't. me the most time. Providing me a legitimate service, I will tip you. Movers. Yes, movers yep. for sure. Food delivery. Movers yes. for sure. Food delivery for sure. Anyone that comes to your home. Coffee. I get a coffee and a bagel. No, dude. They. If just, I'm there myself. No. If I got a fancier coffee, I would. I get black coffee. A black guy's coffee hands it to me. That's it. It's a two second process. I'm not tipping you twenty percent on a. Five I throw a buck on top. That. I don't mind. It's for a five dollar coffee, when there's no no frills, it's black guy's coffee. The problem is I can't win. So I feel I, like a bitch if I don't. I feel I like I'm being them, judged. If I tip them, I lose money. If I don't tip them, I feel guilty. Mm. So you can't win, I, and I don't like. I, I hate that feeling. I just spent money at your at your business. Now I walk out feeling either like an asshole or I got ripped off. Are you saying the price of your guilt is exactly one dollar? <laughs> I think so. Depending, yeah. On, yeah. Sometimes it is exactly it's pretty that. close. Sometimes the price of my yeah. guilt is, is less. You know than what? I always debate with myself is when you so say you pay with cash somewhere in a place like that or pizzeria or something, uh. and you get you pay with a ten, it's nine twenty. You get eighty cents back. Do you put that in the jar? I think it's almost more rude to hear those coins cling on Agreed. the bottom of the jar. I'm not, I'm of not like, that in my pocket. oh, you're just giving me yeah. 30 cents. You're giving me four dimes. Like, yeah. unless you're putting a physical dollar bill in there, I think the sound of the coin sounds like, like this. You're panhandling or something. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're like a 20s. homeless person. Big I dimes? also recently did the, uh, the Seinfeld where I didn't take it out, but I waited until the guy I mean, turned around time, to put yeah. it in. Mm-hmm. It was like I was like I just pretended to fumble with my wallet for a second, and he turned back around. So I was giving a five. I was giving a five. I got three. <laughs> got three pints of ice cream with a cash only place, and I was, I gave a five, and I was like, "You're gonna you're gonna see a five going. You're gonna here. see what I just yeah. Yeah. see, yeah. buddy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Being rude to service employees is going up against the number thirteen seed, uh, which is falling asleep in public. If you know you're a snorer, just people who snoring in public on a plane. When I hear uh, someone snoring in public, it makes me so mad. I mean, you know you can't end it. <laughs> You're not, you're not talking to the right guy here. That's a t- I fall asleep the second I get on planes. And you're a snorer? I, I don't know that I do in public. these people to like do. withhold from no. sleep? I, I know, I no. know that I, I snore. Do. I know place. that I snore in bed. I don't know if I'm up or on a plane. I don't know what my... Assume you always snore. I, I don't think I do. No, on, you can't do that. I don't think I do publicly. Uh, but like, uh, I mean, I'm definitely louder than you should be. If you're, if you're on a plane and you're snoring and someone's sitting next to you snoring, like that... I I would. You gotta snore like just and I and I snore like a motherfucker. I snore like a fucking bear. Absolutely, you gotta snore like a motherfucker on a plane. Between the headphones and the sound the plane makes, you gotta be snoring loud. I'd rather I'd rather snore on a plane or be sitting next to a snore on a plane than a train. You guys are being privileged. I'm rooting for the snorers. (laughs) Why? Why? (laughs) Because they're they're falling asleep. It's again. They're preventing biological reaction. They need falling asleep in their home. Fine. Who cares? Yeah, they don't care about you. Shouldn't care about that. I'm with KB. I don't really. I'm not really bothered by people snoring on an airplane. What about it? Because what's the alternative? They okay. keep oh, France, themselves away. Very yes. bothered by it, but they can't. This. What do you want? Yeah. Are yeah. they supposed to? I. I know I snore, and therefore I must not subject yes. these people yes. around me yes. to that yes. noise. Yes. Oh, come on. That's crazy. I don't agree. Get your deviated septum fixed. That's a, a great example. I went to a screening <laughs> the other day. One of the dudes there, the other critic, he just fell asleep and snored so loud. And like eventually someone had to go up and get him and like so shake sleeping. him awake and be like, stop snoring. You're ruining this for everybody. Yeah, that's rude in a show, I guess. But at times when most people do sleep, I think airplanes, things like that. Most of the time there's ambient noise on an airplane that can kind of drown it out. I don't know. Buy yourself some better noise canceling headphones. So, Che, where, where are you at? The public snores or rude to service people? Rude to service people. I mean, there's no excuse for that. I, I'm also with KB team snore like if you're gonna fall asleep on a plane like go ahead knock yourself out that's kind of why they're designed like it makes everything more efficient for everyone and yet I think Feidelberg's point like it's so loud on a plane with the jets and stuff I made care that much you you have noise canceling headphones and you should be fine it's just public not confined to just the plane scenario so you could be in the DMV some dude snoring next to you you could be that's hilarious Yeah, uh, I take the train every day. Someone's usually passed out, and I always am. Happy. Someone's a napping in public guy that they deserve it. Yeah, I don't care about the sleeping. That's not the issue here. It's the loud noise that accompanies it for some people. It's natural. I hate I hate snoring. It's, it's awful. Uh, but there's nothing worse than someone who's rude to someone whose job is to take care of you. That is completely unacceptable. That almost goes beyond bad citizenship, and that's like a different level, I think, of just co- being a complete asshole. Like, it's their job to be nice to you, and you take advantage of that because you're looking for whatever it is. That, I think it even goes beyond tipping. That's a whole different level of just being a scumbag. 
Mm-hmm. You Don't know what's that? I don't know if you guys do this, but if like the person ahead of you on a line or something is being kind of an asshole, when you get up to the server or oh. the person, you're like, Yo, what about that asshole? Huh? Yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Always yeah. <laughs> I root for people to be yeah. mean so I can just have my intro joke. Exactly, you know? yeah. Dude, Ron and I were just in Sweet Green five minutes before we started this and there was a woman in getting her salad and we walked in and she was having a, a fight with one of the whoever was making her salad and another one of the salad makers started pulling the, the salad maker away because they started yelling and the woman who was asking her to make it started yelling suck my dick <laughs> suck my dick Dude, i love woman you know, suck my dick yeah i remember i think lil kim had a song one of her albums called blow me and i was like that's a badass chick yeah so i don't know i thought that was kind of fun uh where are you going snore or rude to service it's definitely rude to service and i'm hoping that we can make sure that more of these submissions are proper violations of citizenry which you think is well i don't know that falling asleep and snoring oh in a in a concert or like a classical music concert or yeah in a movie that is sure but on an airplane i don't think it's not specific under this umbrella it's not it's not specific to the airplane it's just it's a general snoring in public i see then okay yeah so uh, do you think you should have approved this list francis yep i think you'll like most of them each one so far has had one that I don't consider <laughs> appropriate. So we're 50 right now. Okay. Uh, Tommy. Uh, yeah, it's the service. Well, I mean, I, I still think the snoring is bad. I'm not quite with Francis. I do think it's bad. Um, yeah, I mean, being like, it's honestly, it's unfathomable to me. Like whenever like a, a girl or tweets out or something, it's like, oh, I was on a first date and the guy was so rude to the waiter. It's like, how like that's like something i can't even comprehend yeah, was, yeah. yeah. like what what are uh, what kind of awful person are you like i can't i don't even what do they say it's entitlement is the I, is right. what it is i don't want to throw them under the bus but my parents are shitty to really? <laughs> oh yeah I, I think that's a that's a generation i think so thing. too i mean like the 55 plus crowd they're not like like overtly mean but they'll just they'll like, start huffing like, and ignore puffing, them like, not look are them they in the, the face coffee. yeah yeah dude for me to send a dish back it needs to be so fucked up. Do you know what I mean? I don't think yeah. it's possible. But, I mean, I guess if like you, I saw you spin it, but like the, if you eat, if you bring me the wrong dish, I'm just gonna eat it. Yeah. I I had the how often have you done this? I had a I ordered tuna at a restaurant. I don't know three years ago, and it was a big tuna steak, and the center was frozen solid. I couldn't cut it, and I apologized when I told the waiter. I was like, I'm really sorry, but I just think this could use a little more time in the oven. And then they took it back. But that's that's the level it has to be at. Yeah, I mean, I will say uh, bad service exists. Like, there are bad waiters and waitresses. They get your order wrong. They're rude. They take too long. But, like, if you're just... And not that you shouldn't be mean to them, but if you're just mean to, like, a normal server, I think that's insane. Yeah. That's doing a perfectly acceptable job. Like, right. You know I mean, I think the only time I did it recently was that, like, somebody gave me, like, a flat beer. Or something, and I was like, I mean, I'd just get a different beer or from a different well, yeah. this keg tapped or whatever. They gave me the second one. That one was also flat, and I just drank it. <laughs> it's just like I can't do it again. <laughs> mm. I, I took it took so much courage out of my 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 half to yeah. get that one time in. You live with it. I like it's too fucking bad. They knew there was no way you'd ask. Again. Okay, exactly. Here's an aside question: When someone brings you a beer at a bar and you drink a sip of it, and then you accidentally knock it over. And they bring you another one. Are you supposed to get that for free or not? I think you. It, it, it's common place. practice. You do, but I wouldn't flip out if I was trying. No, no, of course not. I'd expect I, to have to pay for it. I think it's nice that they don't. Because yeah. if I'm the one that knocked it over, I'm the moron. I think it's yeah. uncommon that you have to pay for it, but it's a fair thing to do. Yeah, it's the ice cream shop rule. If you're in the ice cream shop and it falls off the cone, you just get another scoop mm. on the house. Never heard of the ice is cream. That, is that the ice cream I like that. Curb your enthusiasm, right? No, I just made it up. <laughs> That's a good rule. That is exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. You just you thought that something that just came out of Steve's brain was from I actually think it might literally be. Uh okay. I'll look. Uh, KB. Yeah, that's the one. Service employees. Yeah. Fights. Service. Service is gonna move on. Next matchup is just can't imagine being like, yeah, can you not sleep? <laughs> it's not <laughs> I actually I actually with, with a sleep. I think you guys should be on this list. No, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Making noise like that, and you know you make a loud fucking noise, and you're doing it in public, you're the asshole. I'm not the asshole for having to wit- having to just endure it. 
because you wanted to sleep. I'm kind of with KB on this. I, I, I hate more when a sleeper spills. Like if they're if they're a larger person, because when you're kind of sitting, you're keeping everything a little tighter. If you have someone who falls asleep and they kind of just like melt, melt into you, I'm like, I'd rather you like be spill their fat rolls. Yes, yeah. like uh-huh. they do yeah, when someone just kind of lets their body go and it's just like <laughs> everyone, everyone can do. But it you right meant now. like spill a drink? No, he's right no. though. He's right. Everyone can do it right now. You're you're staying tighter than you actually are. Yeah. Oh, I don't uh, care. I can't spill. <laughs> I I actually really can. Yeah. yeah you, you, okay. You, you obviously can't, but if you have any fat no, but, on you whatsoever uh, like, you can spill you have the line cold. in the seat if you're sitting on a plane everyone has like their line their armpits our, our space is precious so Look, I, I, I just do kind of bleed Atlantic like, flight where someone spilled into my seat and it yeah. infuriated me the entire time they touched me the whole fucking time me too it's it, it starts sucks. it starts violating like like the fucking yeah. borders and shit like that it's I'd rather you spill. they do this too that's where it gets yeah. out of hand Lumber, it, just occur- to you. it just occurred to me like cuddling with you <laughs> must be tough I don't really like cuddling. I mean, the good news is I can fit in like small spaces so I can cuddle on a couch pretty good, I think. Does your wife like rest her head on your chest like watching a movie together? Sure. Yeah. God, that's got to be horrible. For oh, yeah, we, we, yeah we're, we're, we'll just cuddle watching the watching the show or something. You'd be like cuddling with a mid-century talking. Danish chair. <laughs> <laughs> it's cuddling in a twin-size bed. Way more minimalist like situation. Maybe, maybe you know, throwing an extra couple extra pillows for comfort for her. But other than that, <laughs> you get to enjoy the nice embrace of a, of a loving man like myself. <laughs> well, uh, the next matchup is the eight seed versus the nine. The eight seed is not using your blinker when you turn. Yeah, are you coming to me for this? I'm asking for your approval on it. Oh, uh, that's a good one. Yeah, I like that one. This is a great one. I like that one. Yeah, yeah. that works for Which sure. Pisses me off. And also, it's weird. It's almost spilled over into my non-driving life now. Where if I'm on across the street and a guy's not using his blinker and I'm holding off from jaywalking because he doesn't have a turn signal on, and then he turns, it pisses me off. So mm-hmm. now, even as not a driver, it makes me mad. Uh, and that's going up to number nine seed. Curbing your dog, not curbing your dog. Sorry. Mm. What, is, I, what does that mean? That you know, what does that? I've Thank never you. known what Thank the you. fuck Thank that means. Not cleaning your dog's shit. Yes, Maybe, your dog yeah. shits in the street. That's, what, that that's what it means. <laughs> oh, I didn't oh. know that. Uh, is it because I always thought th- this is the issue? I, I you see in those tree wells in New York neighborhoods it says please curb your right. dog, but I think that that means mm. don't let your dog pee. On this tree. Yeah. Oh, so we'll say... I thought it meant pee or, or poop. I thought it meant like stay away. A curb, in other words, meant like don't let oh, them go any poop. further. Oh, okay. That's my... That's no. how I always imagine it. Oh, I think world. it means like, like no don't let also meant dog. like picking up poop. Yeah. Uric acid kills those trees, which is why they don't want dogs peeing on them. And it means keep your dog on the curb to go to the back. That almost feels more rude if your dog pissed in the middle of a sidewalk. But them. I think Ken Jack's point, which yeah. is... Yeah. Pick up your dog Poop shit. Pick up your dog shit. Not oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. But I'm that's saying like, the topic we want. Part. Okay. Yes, which is good. Yeah, that's one of the best. Okay. So not picking up your dog shit versus not using a blinker. Fights. This is a good one. Uh, this is an easy one for me. This is uh, I am. I'm not the biggest blinker user. I don't drive that often. <laughs> uh, and when I do, it's usually in a pretty rural place. I don't really. I don't really hit the blinker. Why? If there's a car behind you. You still might not. I still might not. It's uh, wow. it's, it's barely a movement. <laughs> it requires almost head. no effort. What a fucking asshole! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, not, you're very clearly making like the nature. choice. It's not like, no, I'm not. I'm not it's making so it. easy. Because you're going through your head, you're like, I'm not like what an asshole. In my head, I'm not like, I'm not like, don't hit the blanket. I think it's I think harder to I not. Do it, do it. Yeah, it's harder to but not. But the like, like, I don't understand why it matters. Like, like, Lord, like, why do you, why do you care where I'm going? <laughs> like, you think they're being in creep? <laughs> You're trying to turn it on us? <laughs> or whether I'm going yeah, right, nosy bitch, right on my. So, you ass. so you're causing an accident because they also might be going left. So that way they don't hit you if you're also could be. Murdered. Why would they? Be, why would they? You're hit moving. Me? The car is moving to a different part of the Slowing road. Slowing down and turning. I, I, if you're on the highway, you. I get. But if we're at like a slow stop sign. You shouldn't be that close. You should never almost hit me because I took a left. He's gas though I was going right left. He's trying hard. That's just not madness. It makes a lot of sense. It does because you're breaking to make the turn. Unless you're like Dukes of Hazard, you're yeah, not just no, I'm, at a, I'm talking about when I'm at a stop sign. I'm, a, I'm fully stopped. You, you're I'm, usually I'm slowing down to make a turn, though, if there's no stop sign. I, I, I guess I, I don't. I got another one for you. You're in, you're in a highway and a car is behind you and you're switching lanes. 
Most likely, yes. You're putting your blanket on that? Because I've been more conscious. No, because then I'm more conscious. Then I'm checking my mirrors. Dangerous, yeah. If I'm I'm just like at a stop sign in a rural area, I kind of just fucking whip it around. I'm in a suburb. I'm in the fucking country. I'm just fucking hit. You know why it matters? (laughs) This is why it matters. If there's a car behind you and you're in a rural area and you're turning out of four corners, the car behind you, if you don't put your blinker on is choosing the speed at which they will accelerate based on the thought that you are going straight and you turning slows you down at least a little bit which could you run them into you accelerating that fast we're in a broken rural area yeah, use, your blinker. In here. Um, use your blinker i'm got the max i'm getting use up to the blinker you gotta use your blinker. Not, no, no effort use the you're, you're no also effort assuming blinker. a clear turn like there's no cars there but if there's oncoming traffic you have to wait for the last that's really dangerous oh if i'm doing that for sure for sure I'm I'm talking strictly like fucking no one's around. Right, if no I'm one's stopping around. on like a Fine. like a, a yeah, road, no one's like around. A, yeah. Uh, then yeah, if I'm in a left lane, there are two lanes. I'm taking a left. Fuck yeah, my blinkers Still on. Still shitty. A, uh, you don't really know no one's around. And B, you if some well you, your headlights or something should someone be. Someone is a know. if someone is a blinker, you can move around them. You can go a little quicker on your way. It only it's only kind. There's no reason not to use your blinker. Just use it. It's again. I'm not like. I'm not like. I'm not. No, I don't want to use it. Don't want to rub my silverware together. <laughs> oh, do that. That is the worst thing. Oh, that is bad. Even the thought of that made me just really uncomfortable. Thank you. <laughs> why? Yeah. Why are you being so nosy? What a fucking <laughs> attempt that was. <laughs> why do you want to? I still don't think. Going? I don't think you should be accelerating so fast. That which again in a rural suburb, like I have four 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 way stop. You shouldn't be accelerating so fast. That which way I go fucking affects how hard you're hitting the pedal. Nosy. Why'd you catch me cheating? <laughs> Um, that, uh, so I'm going with not picking up your dog shit. And I also think it's funny that we live in the era, like we were like the birth of picking up your dog shit. I remember when I was, when I was young, it was like, it was like, before you walked in the house, you checked your shoes. You could have stepped in dog shit at any moment. <laughs> like it's not a thing anymore. No one, I don't, I don't think people check their shoes before going in the house now. Uh, I don't want to be a flea, but it's becoming an epidemic in New York City. It's so bad. A lot more dog shit. It's so dogs, bad. It's because everyone got it. There are too many goddamn dogs. That's probably I, I don't, I'm way too this. comfortable. And they're taking up most of the they're, uh, the leash that takes up the whole sidewalk. Yes, yes, I yes. I oh. show the other day. Like, it? when I used to walk home, dogs got out of my fucking way. They don't do it anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> let their fucking, dog go to the other oh, side I hate of the sidewalk it. and they close line. Uh, I, I walk home, it's like fucking the... That, uh, that the, could be one in and of itself. Yeah. That's a pretty yeah. good one. And, and I'll add to that, when it's raining and people have an, an umbrella oh. with spindly spikes, the and when you're walking bad. and they Big don't... Oh, I didn't even add the. They best don't. Color. They don't like either raise it or move out of your way, and they gouge your eyes. Unless I feel like that's only for New York. It's possible for in the that most city, part, right? It might Maybe. Be city, I guess. Yeah. Probably the worst place. It's the places right. you use your blinker. I think not having your dog on a leash is even crazy. That bothers yes, me. Agreed. Not from like I'm afraid to get attacked by the dog. It gives me so much anxiety of the dog in a fucking busy city and you have like a, an animal that could at any point get distracted by a, a honk and like run out and get smashed in the middle of right. that's, so, bad, that's, that's being a shitty dog owner yeah let's change it to bad dog etiquette would that be sure. okay? yeah you I could have just kept if you don't clean you your leave dog, dog shit, shit as is that's that's the vote for me so dog yeah. Yeah. Letting you're not over. cleaning up your dog's shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's bad yeah and they're always big ones too it's yeah. never you know it's like a saint bernard's shit mm-hmm yeah, that's another one that falls under unfathomable. I, I cannot imagine. <laughs> I've had it before. Was the dog's got diarrhea? Yeah. Maybe, maybe you, you just can't run. pick it up. Do your best. Yeah. You're like, I'm like, you got to do your best. Shit, oh, like, we got to go, buddy. We got to go. I got to see some smears. Uh, I don't want to know that see. somebody tried. Okay. Like, and then you know, I'll be like, diarrhea? Oh, you, yeah, you did your best, but it's better be smeared. Pick up as much of it as you can with the bag. You do the one scoop. Yeah, you Ooh. better try. It doesn't sit well. It's more rude than seeing human shit. If I saw human <laughs> shit on the sidewalk, <laughs> I'd be like, well, that guy had it had to do clearly. It. Like, yeah, that there was an well. emergency. <laughs> the yeah. dog shit, it's like that owner made a conscious decision yeah. of, I'm not picking that Almost up. This guy doesn't have an owner. Like, you know what I mean? To <laughs> right. After him. <laughs> the dog does. Mm. Oh, uh, that's uh, Francis. This is a, this is an interesting one. I think these are two very good examples, and I think that uh, it's close. But I do think, especially that we all live in a city, the dog shit. The problem is, you know, especially where I live, we have two dogs, and I am I am vigilant and and about picking up their shit. In in the instances where I go out, and the spool of the doggy poop bags 
is empty and I don't realize if if our dog goes poop, I will I will grab leaves or a stick and flick the poop deep <laughs> deep into the heavy brush uh as carefully as I can. Or I'll ask another person, do you have any extras if they have a dog? And it matters a lot to me. And the problem is that where we walk our dogs, people walk their dogs all the time and you see the People don't pick up their shit. And you don't know if that's going to be there for the next week. Because who is picking that up? Right. Is it a parks? No, they're warden? not going to do that. Is it a, one of the poor people that have been chosen in life to landscape the gardens of New York parks, which got to be one of the worst jobs of all time? Yeah. <laughs> All time, a lot, lot of human shit. Or oh, this, this. That's it's, it's, it's. I'm saying those got those people are are profound. I, I would imagine devoted gardeners, right? They have they always wear their Carhartt pants, or overalls, and they've got the. They know what they're doing, and they'll come out plant these trees, and the next day they'll come out to check on it, and it will be surrounded by litter, <laughs> used condoms, hypodermic needles, dog poop piles. And people are just quite literally defacing the beauty that they're trying to instill in the landscape. Mm -hmm. That sucks. So another for the um, dogs, Clemmer. Yeah, the dog. Yeah, I, I got to go. Dogs. I, I've had I, I've had two dogs for a while. Uh, I've had a dog for my oldest dog is fourteen, so I've had dogs for a long time. Anytime I he poops, I don't have poop bags. It's the worst feeling. You have that spool. I've run back in the house and ran back out and tried to pick it up. I feel so bad because I hate when I step in dog shit. It's the worst. You, it gets in Hot the take. Crevices. It's not to describe. <laughs> we know. Oh, but it's awful. But like, okay. I hate that. You're right. It's such an obvious take, but then how can you as a person leave it there then? If we all hate it, it's awful. It gets in the crevices of your shoes. It smells, obviously, smell, like there's so many bad things about it. How can you hate it and then leave it for somebody else to step in? That's so, sh that's so awful. I think what happens is those are often the piles of shit from those dogs that just live with people who rove. No, I don't think so. Because even in New Hampshire, you'd see dog shit places. And you're like, even in like my neighborhood, I'd be like, what is happening? Who's doing this? Mm -hmm. Just selfish dog owners. Fair enough. Jay? Yeah. There is quite literally a political campaign that was won on this. Milk. Uh, the RV Milk? Openly gay um, mayor of San Francisco, like back in the whatever, 60s yeah. or 70s. Yeah. His platform was nobody picked up their dog shit. Really? I didn't know so that. So that... Is that what that movie's about? A gay yeah, man in office. Him getting yes. Killed. yes. <laughs> that's the movie's about? about? Dog. No. That sounds oh, like that, a I, I don't that, even No, that, that, that was his platform in the movie. But I don't even yeah. remember that being featured in the movie. It was. Really? Yeah. Step your pussy up. Yeah, it was. I, what did you say? What did you say? <laughs> what did you just say? Step your pussy up. Is that Step in the movie? Step your pussy up? Yeah. What does that, that mean? Is that, uh, is that in the movie? Check yourself. Be better. Step your pussy up. Step your pussy Step up. Your you, so Stephen Che just said that to Francis Ellis. <laughs> yes. yes, that wasn't in the movie. That is an original, <laughs> oh, original yeah. phrase. Have yeah, you I ever said that on the yak like a couple weeks ago to Brandon? Yeah. Was it original? You thought of that phrase? No, I thought he was saying a something. quote from the movie. Step your pussy. But also, I remember that. I don't feel like I said something to you that was. You're questioning if what I said was correct or not. No, I said, I said, I don't remember that in the movie. You didn't remember every second of and that And I was movie. thinking you might remind me, but instead you told me to step my pussy up. <laughs> yeah. I thought you'd be means? like, yeah, you remember when he meets James Franco and then they start picking up poop together <laughs> before he gets murdered. No, that was the, that was the platform you ran on. What else am I, how am I, how else am I going to elaborate? I get it. Now. Step your pussy, pussy up. up. <laughs> There's no other way to elaborate. What does that pussy mean? Up. Be better. Uh, that's really fun. Uh, that was. I mean, that's that's unbelievably fun. I'm gonna start using that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> your pussy up. Jesus Christ. Gonna go right up next to serving cunt in my most used yes. phrases. I oh, love serving, serving cunt oh, and leaving zero crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. By the way, before we, before we move on. Is there more going on here today than usual? It is a mess. This, this guy won't yeah, leave. It's, it's crazy. crazy. This guy won't get out of hey, here. My eyes just keep what darting around. I don't know how you guys do the yak in here. This is nuts. Uh, yeah, MMA fighter that's been camped here for the last like hour. Jesus Christ. Uh, anyway, next up, we have our one seed versus our 16 seed chain. We'll do the chain first. Uh, first option. I just put bicycle, uh, bicycle people, like bicyclists. Oh, that's all you need to say. All you need to say. Worst, worst <laughs> humans alive. That is the worst. <laughs> they, I don't understand. Every one of them is bad. It's, we it's, have a, a, a person amongst us who almost was killed by that community, right? I, they like have they 
very much threatened death. They, I think there's still a hit on my head. <laughs> like, like they, like they were like, I'll, like they were calling into Barcelona radio back in the day. Like, I will kill you when I see you. Jesus Christ! <laughs> like, like they so said bad. they would swing a Worst chain, humans. like with like locks on it. It was like, their deal. It was. It they was had to wild. kill you in a bicycle centric way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like not a gun. Just shoot me, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Uh you mentioned this before, but we, I guess we kind of included it underneath another one, but having the keyboard click while you text. Uh, fights, you included uh, not twisting a doorknob so that doesn't do the extra loud click when you close it. <laughs> you do that in every door you do? Wait, that what? That one's hugely... I know, I get it, I get it. the door, like, the knob... Some people just shut then... a door and it goes... <laughs> if you just twist oh, the knob yeah, as yeah, you yeah. close it. Um, oh, that's... Oh, never. That's I mean, subtle. If my it roommate's like, that's a subtle one. I like that. And that one's born of the Amtrak, which I imagine you use a bit too, when people just close the top. And it goes, yeah. and you fucking pull, pull the handle a little bit and close it. It's not so fucking jarringly loud. Yeah, yeah. Uh, taking too long to order drinks at the bar. That was yours, Tommy. Uh, grabbing a stripper in a no touching club. Self explanatory. <laughs> 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 I mean, you know what put, that means? Step your pussy up. Yeah. Should just put like on here too. Like, oh, I mean, there are. Come on, come on, sorry, Tommy. sorry. Come on, oh, how many times? Oh, yeah, I mean, there are some there. strip clubs that allow you, you know, some touching, and some that don't. Like when you tip and whatever, and some are very strict. No, so don't do anything there. I'm not gonna police that shit. He's like, step it down. There are, there's yeah. literally people employed to police that stuff. That's very true. Uh, asking, is this the line when you're clearly in a line of people? Was that yours? That, was uh, <laughs> that is yours. funny. That's really funny, though. <laughs> That's a good one. I really like that one. And then we're going to do the big umbrellas. Like we were yeah, doing big umbrellas and not, and not moving them at all when there's yep. somebody walking c- close. Not going up or down. Yeah. Not moving I like to have up. umbrella dominance. I like to be the top umbrella. Me too. I feel like it's manly. Yeah. yeah no, I, it's I, really manly. In wet. <laughs> I don't ever I have an umbrella. I, I never do. I, I'm not against them, a but I don't ever have one. I get claustrophobic. I them. <laughs> what are you so? Why do you have an umbrella? What are you so afraid of? I don't want to get soaked walking to work. I think it's a, a reasonable thing to use. An <laughs> it is. It is the uh, back in the day. I think Dave wrote a blog that I was outrageous because I wore a raincoat in the rain once. And I'm not talking a big fisherman's island or, or whatever it is. Like fisherman's like yellow. Ja- I wore a yeah. black waterproof jacket. And he was befuddled. <laughs> if you wonder how far Dave Portnoy has gone. <laughs> like, what the fuck is Feidelberg wearing today? It's like it's a it's a rain. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a it's a it's just a black rain jacket to my waist. Yeah. It was as basic as it comes. Uh so Che, you vote first on the chain. Cyclists having the keyboard click, uh the doorknob twist, uh and not taking too long to order drinks at the bar, grabbing a stripper at a no touching club, <laughs> asking, is this the line when you're in big line of people and the big umbrellas? Which one do you want? I mean, it's got to be the the stripper one. It, that's assault. It's got to be. It's, that's, uh, not, that's not like a citizenship fail. It's just like a perverted <laughs> like violation. A yeah. Yeah. So I'm it's, against that. I'm for a single right. person. We're all against all of these. Yeah, like murder's not on here. Every single person out there is meeting each other for the first time. It's it's nuts, KB. I'm so happy. I, it's like it's what's happening out here is crazy. The, Wait, it, more people have come. I don't in. know. Like uh, I only know what is a party party these people. Happening? What is happening? All right, it's bad for the people. This, the pub, but there's quite a lot of people. This needs here. to be addressed. We're talking. Oh, yeah, everyone's hard. meeting for the first time. to work here. Who? Oh, Abby. What the fuck is happening here, dude? Yeah, get a good zoom on that. What the? fuck? There's a thousand people here. Here they go. They're going. Oh, the MMA guy's going. Okay. All right. Well, that was fun. Um, so you're going with the <laughs> they're looking in the studio, probably gonna see themselves on the TV. <laughs> yeah, not touching the stripper. Yeah, uh, gotta follow the rules. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh Clemmer. Yeah, if the whoever is the next New York City mayor said, I have one thing I'm gonna do, that's it. Just one thing, and it's get rid of bicyclists, get rid of city bike, get rid of all bikes in the city. Uh, I'd vote for that person no, no matter what. I'm no, pro I city that. bike. City no bike people what. are regular. Cyclists are not. They no, are. I don't want anyone riding bikes in the city. It's it's. I hate it so much. It's it's dangerous. The, Rudy said it best. Rudy said to a family member coming in. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's not a good sign. <laughs> that phrase has never been said. Rudy said it best. Oh, no. Said it best. Listen to this pearl wisdom. He's like he told a, a relative coming to the city for the first time. He said, "You will not get hit by a car." But you will get hit for a bike. Be careful. I think that's really I don't safe. Know if you will you get hit. No, but he's saying if you will, if you, no, but you, but you could, more likely, yeah. Yeah, sure. you could get hit by a bike, but you're you can not getting hit by a bike. Tell that's one of our former employees. <laughs> <laughs> Eight hundred feet in the air. Yeah. Uh, so it's Wiley Coyote. It's, it's the thing. I, it's might be the thing I hate most about 
a city is the bike. I think biking, I'm more with Clemmer than not, but you get the chance. And if, but if you break a violation, you, if you bike, you have to obey the rules of the road. You got to stop at red lights. And if you don't, jail or something. Right. They go on sidewalks. They don't give a fuck. Oh, I mean, they're human pieces. Sidewalks yeah. is... Oh, That's a wild my one. God. It happens all the time. Like, you see it every... Like, they're, the electric they're always, scooters on the sidewalk. Guys one way, the real. wrong way. If you're like a one-way street yeah. for cars and you're going the other way, you don't, you're not that that Pieces way. of shit that should die. Huge pieces of shit. Bikes die. do not belong in this city. Get rid of the bikes. No, no more bikes. I disagree. Uh, no, 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 I want more bikes now. these bikes. <laughs> city biking is awesome. Bikes. City biking is awesome, and uh, and it, we just we don't really have a great infrastructure for it. I'm I'm gonna be a, the, uh, a pretty stereotypical person here right now, but I just got back from Amsterdam. They bike everywhere. I don't I don't care about going green. I don't care about any of this. What swayed me and has and I, I, I'm, cyclists are still the worst. Blah blah blah. What makes me be like a bike city might be fucking bliss is how goddamn quiet it is. Uh, Cool. It is, be nice. bro. You can just sit there and have a beer, and there's mm-hmm. no fucking honking. There's no sirens. I don't even know if there are fucking police there. Everyone it's looks good too. So, and yeah, oh, not a fat person. Oh, to be seen. By the way, Stockholm, Oslo, all the Scandinavian countries, same thing. It's yeah. it was incredible. Bliss. Not everyone on a bike is a cyclist, though. Cyclists are totally different yes, for people. sure. Agreed. But if if you could set up a, in fact, I took a bike tour while I was there, and the guy was like, "You guys are doing bike lanes. That's never gonna work. You have to police them like they're cars. That's the only thing that gets everyone to work mm-hmm. in unison." and respect cyclists mm-hmm. um but i can i will vouch for cycling cities as being fucking awesome mm. again those aren't site i wouldn't count those people yeah. as cyclists though right. totally different people They're commuters yeah yeah uh, anti-bike bikes Francis. Yep. uh it was always gonna be the umbrella for me mm. the umbrella, the umbrella are- issue bothers me to no end really especially when you get stuck under scaffolding and it becomes you can't move. Yeah, and, and the fact that you you're truly going to cause bodily harm to an eye. Eyes are, I don't know. They just have a special place where if you were to blind someone because you <laughs> were unwilling to move your umbrella, um, you're a monster. You're a monster. It's the special it. place like right here and here. <laughs> <laughs> don't, no, don't say a fucking word. <laughs> don't say anything, Tommy. I uh, know no, what you're talking about. Um. The, is this the line thing? Or is cutting lines going to be on here not to tip picks? Uh, yes. Okay, so that's different then. So I would go with the cyclists. Um, yeah, I think like if we want to be specific, if I had to pick the worst cyclist violation, it would be going the wrong way down a yeah. one way. Where look, when you walk out on New York City Street, you know you know which ways to go. What east, even ones run east, whatever. You know where to look. Uh, and someone's coming the opposite way, like that. It's ridiculous. Piece of garbage. Piece so, of yeah, I, for instance, I couldn't beat them, so I joined them. <laughs> you I, ride, go the I ride the way? Gen 2 oh, electric the city bike. bike oh, the yeah. Tetric, the Tetris piece. Like, I, do, I go everywhere. Because it's, just, it's fun, and fun. if everyone else is doing it, Are you ever nervous it. on it? Very. Oh. That's why I got to get drunk before I do it. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Uh, Cyclists are like genetically something that makes them all terrible tremendously bad people gonna go with that bites um cycling is moving on right yeah okay so um i i would say cyclist but out of uh just want to get it on the ballot i'm gonna go with twisting the doorknob it's important not enough people do it twist the doorknob before you close the yeah, door I've never done that <laughs> so I mean, i'll do it like everyone watching tv will thank you if i'm trying to like not oh, to wake my girlfriend okay, up like, I do. <laughs> or something like i'll do that for sure uh so that's going up against the number one seed Cutting in line of any kind, and that includes using the shoulder mm. to get in early mm. on a on a line of cars, like getting out of a plane early, getting up when going when it's not your oh, boarding Jesus. group. Like these are this is all the worst people, and for many reasons. But fights this is a huge, huge one. There's yeah. so much in this. Exactly. So cutting in line of any kind versus what? That's going up against the cyclists. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh wait, really quick. Earlier you said getting online or something yeah i say that and and yet and yet and yet you just said cutting in line huh do you do do you change it for that if you're the back person you're getting on the line but if you're cutting in front of it you're getting you're cutting in the line you gotta you gotta say it this you gotta be consistent you gotta pick your poison losing that battle (laughs) i will never be consistent on grammar i never i say i say oh i'm online or i would say cutting the line i probably wouldn't say would you say cutting in line I would just uh, say cutting the line. Yeah. Okay. Cutting a line. Live with that. He cut in line. He cut online sounds weird. I don't know. 
uh, fights. It all sounds weird. This is a tough one. Um, but as someone who, again, occasionally... Oh, no. Violates no. a cut. I'll never go. I'll never go with France. I'll never go a breakdown line, something like that. But I... Oh, I don't... I do that. No, no I know. I know. I'm saying. I know you prevent it. Okay. Good. Um. I. Uh, I've occasionally timed it just right, so it's not even really cutting. What I do when I'm coming in, if there's a long line at the exit, I'll slow down in the lane next door. I look for a big box truck, a school bus, something like that, something that gets started slowly, mm -hmm. and then I'll fucking whip it right. In I don't mind that either. Yeah. I no. don't mind that. <laughs> I have no problem with that. <laughs> something that doesn't have the acceleration of a sedan or a coupe. I could fucking pop in there, no problem. Um, That's about to be way worse. But, it's way better than it. When you say I occasionally do cutting. Oh, no, I won't like bad. start traffic or like be like, let me in. I'm not going to do something like that. But if I can spot something that I know doesn't have the, the get up and go, I'll fucking get in. Kind of an asshole driver, huh, fights? I <laughs> I don't think because that's that's nothing's happening there. Someone, no one's filling that space. I'm I'm hindering nobody there. I'm just filling a hole. At which point do you just accept and be like, yeah, I, I'm an asshole. And I, 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 really, I, I really don't think I am. I genuinely think I'm No blinker. You cut in line, but you're one of the good guys behind the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> um, having With all that, because I do violate that rule when, it's, when I see fit, um, I'm going to go with the cyclist. The cyclist. Yes. Go for the 16. You're cutting a line is so comically brazen that you have to do it in preparation to fist fight <laughs> yeah. I, res I respect I would, that I You're would never such in a, a bad years person. do it outside of a car I would never like be a, a market or something like that but some people try and do that like where you're sneaking into line as two human beings I would never do that yeah. if I saw someone do it I would assume I'm missing something yeah, yeah. I would assume like, like okay like line. I didn't just see that yeah, like there's no way and that's why I almost think you could probably get away with cutting lines yeah. more than people do yeah, it oh. because so. I would never say something to someone doing it right I'd be like okay well I'm like clearly something's going on here that I'm not picking up on there's no way this person's just walking on the line yeah. I would assume they were like meeting someone. That was yeah, like, yeah something. something. There's no way they're that brazen. Yeah. So you're going. Yeah, you're I mean, pro. if someone does do that, that's the worst. Yeah, that's worse than just riding a bike. <laughs> it's worse than just riding a bike, Tommy. Yeah, it's cutting a line. I mean, the plane one I think is the worst. The the Francis Highway one is the worst. Now, like I've talked about in here before, you know, in, in college, maybe we're going to the bars. Bars Spider are would say, fine. Bars Spider are would say, Ford and Post Patrol, we don't wait in lines. We don't wait in lines. <laughs> or we're going <laughs> to, he'd always, but, but Spider wouldn't, he, he wouldn't just plop his ass in front of someone. He'd go talk to the bouncer, smooth maybe. talk him a little bit. That's different, I think. That's, that's a lot different. What infuriate me. The bouncer waves you in. Infuriating, but it's different than just How like. How is it different? Because you're being allowed to, you're being allowed into the authority is telling you. You're not just saying I'm going to go in front right. of you, person. Okay. Yeah. Uh. So, but yeah, I mean, if whatever cutting lines is again, I'm going to throw the unfathomable label on this one. Unfathomable. I try. I got booed at Pier A for trying to pay someone to take their spot to cut them in line. A booed. Yeah. I've, been, I've been booed in a line. Hey, the, the person themselves. Really? I offered them twenty dollars because I had to pee so badly, and they were offended. Really? And everyone was like, "No." See, I get, get the that. Fuck out of here. If, but would you? You would have to pay them twenty dollars, and they have to get out of line. They can't. Oh, no, no, you. They, yeah. I think you're thinking they have to. Them. They have that's to leave yeah. the line. Yeah, this place. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. One in, one out. Uh, I think the boarding group line cutters too are some because they. I, whenever I hear that, like the person saying like they, they, the the employee will yell at them, they'll be like, "Hey, if it's not your boarding group, don't come up." And I know that person did that. I'm very angry at Rude. them. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, "What's the rush?" Yeah, exactly, Francis. Well, you, there, the rush is if you don't get on the plane early now, you have to gate check your bag. Yeah, but I don't really care about that that much. Bro, if I'm economizing my luggage to the point where I'm, I'm, I'm aware that the whole reason I didn't pack more was to not have to wait for my bag on the carousel, to then have to check my bag and wait for it on the carousel, mm -hmm. sucks. Yeah, I, that didn't used to bother me until yeah. I had to start doing that. Yeah. Um, this is line cutting versus cyclists. It's line cutting. Line this is like I, I, I don't know. I'm going to die stopping this. <laughs> yeah, you are. I don't have a choice. Like I thought, I was just doing it for the bit, and then I started doing it without filming it, and <laughs> like I can't sit in traffic and watch car after car use the shoulder to cut. 
I just can't do it. That's I'm gonna, physically that's incapable of doing it, so I have to stop them. I'm sure you've gotten the comp before, but you'll end up like Dennis in the Suburbs episode of It's Always Sunny, <laughs> like having a, a meltdown. <laughs> fat bitch! Sure. I've been hearing it the whole time. Uh, all right, that's yeah, line cutting for sure. Yeah, so remember the Red Sox Yankees game when Pedro threw Zimmer to the ground? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I camped out all night for those tickets. My buddy and I, we went, we got there at like 8 p.m., and we slept out in, you know, Fights knows this area. It's not a great area to like just fall asleep in, especially back then. That was dangerous, which is gross. And it was, kind of, it was October, it was kind of chilly. And in the morning around 6 a.m., a bunch of guys, there was a bunch of us, there was like 100 of us sleeping out because before you could buy stuff online. And uh, these guys came in. We're going to cut the line like a, a little in front of us. Some other guy just beat the shit out of him. And that's how severe line cutting can be. Having said that, I hate bikes so much, bikes. <laughs> <laughs> There are three to two in favor of the lines. The line cutting is so broad in this one. So, I mean, it, it not only does the the traffic stuff with the shoulder or the breakdown lane, it does getting up out of your seat with the airplane stuff. I think it's going to be almost impossible to beat this one. So I'm going to go cutting in line. Cutting in line. It's going to move on. All right, let's talk about nuts.com. Nuts.com is your one-stop shop for freshly roasted nuts, dried fruits, sweets, pantry staples like specialty flowers, and more. Their wide selection means that there's something for everyone. Nuts.com offers plenty of gluten-free options, organic choices, and other diet-friendly products. Whether you're looking for something sweet, savory, or need to stock up on everyday cooking essentials, you're bound to find something to try. Shop a la carte anytime or opt into a hassle-free auto delivery so that you never run out of your favorite items. If you're already stocked up at home, they also sell directly to businesses. Snack with satisfaction knowing the quality is a top priority at Nuts.com. They roast their nuts and pop their corn the same day it ships so that it reaches you deliciously fresh. Since 1929, they've been doing it the old-fashioned way. One taste, and you'll know the difference. Right now, Nuts.com is offering customers a free gift with purchase and free shipping on orders of $29 or more at Nuts.com slash lights. So go check out the delicious options at Nuts.com slash lights. You receive a free gift and free shipping when you spend $29 or more. That's Nuts.com slash lights. Uh, on the other side, we have uh, the number six seat. Tommy, you included this, and I didn't even, I can't believe I didn't think about it beforehand. Filming someone at a gym. It's a big Joey one. Joey Swole's uh, special. Yeah, I feel like that just goes every, any, I don't understand. It's another one where it's like, why are you doing that now? Because you're just going to get destroyed by the internet. Like, there's no reason to, like, they're just like, look at this fat tub of lard trying to run. Like, it, uh, that's bizarre. Is that what oh, the bar school counts. Does, Jim or... <laughs> oh, what, what? So basically, when someone makes fun of someone, like, "Hey, look at this guy doing this thing at the yeah. gym," like Joey Swole will just destroy them for doing. I it. like that. Good for him. He's like me <laughs> on the shoulders. Yeah. yeah, he's like me with the shoulders except at the gym, uh, and that's going up against the number eleven seed. Uh, this one I kind of can uh, combine a bunch of different ones: sidewalk, stairs, escalator etiquette in general. So walking in a really wide line on a pike packed like sidewalk with all your friends or whatever, uh, parking yourself on the left side of an escalator when people so people can't pass you, um, not staying to the right and most of the most I'm a I'm a stick to the right guy on the sidewalk. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I feel like you just stay to your right. Don't go to the left. Um, and everything else that you would include underneath stairway, walkway. Etiquette. You know what I wonder with that? We're we're used to I think we're manually whether whatever sidewalk, hallway, stay to the right. I think probably because we drive on the right side of the road in yeah. Europe. Do you think that they're programmed to stay to the left? Well, keep in mind, in Europe, they still drive on the right side of the road. In England, specifically, yeah. they drive okay. on the left. England. <laughs> <laughs> in England. Fucking over. Whatever. There's Fucking a, move on. There's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of countries <laughs> drive on the left. Mm. Yeah, it's huh? a lot of countries drive it's on the, the United left. Kingdom and Australia, right? Australia does, for sure. Oh, there's plenty from yeah, Geo. Ireland does. does. That's where a lot of Asian kill countries. Yeah, the, yeah. United Kingdom. Mm-hmm. So, Che. And you then said England. That's but like France and Spain. South though. Africa. Oh. A lot of so there's there's former a British colonies, then? I don't know. There's like, I think Japan, maybe. Hmm. Taiwan. <laughs> Jay? Filming <sighs> someone at the gym or sidewalk, stairway, escalator etiquette? I'm not a fan of these, uh, like either of the. I, none, they don't personally bother me that much. Uh, I guess I'll go the the sidewalk etiquette. So, if someone like filmed you saying, like, look at this dumb bitch trying to lift weights and post it on the internet, you wouldn't care? I mean, they're going to get destroyed by the internet, so they're not helping themselves at yeah, all. It's but. one-sided. It's one-sided. I like that. Mm. All right, that's fair. There's a correction. Society does agree that that's bad. Yeah. I mean, society agrees all of these things are bad. Oh. Which one of these would you think is... Bro, 
when I stop people on the shoulder, yeah, but that's half a, that's the world a, says, fuck you. Try doing that in, in Detroit. We'll kill you. <laughs> Come do that in Florida. It's like, well, yeah, do I'll it. do it in Florida. What's wrong with that? I'm doing it in Florida. I'm going to do, do it in, Detroit, in Boca Raton. But- <laughs> 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 what grandparents going to get out and stop me? Uh, no, but that one, I mean, I also, a lot of these are not as black and white as you'd think. Okay. So you're going... Uh, Sidewalk. Sidewalk. Yep. Remember? I think the filming someone at a gym, make fun of them. Like that's so shitty because they're at the gym to try to help themselves. Like that seems weird to me. Yeah. But that also seems incredibly rare. Like that. Not as rare as you think. Not as rare as you think. We used to post videos of people doing exercises incorrectly or. Acting, oh yeah. Like, yeah. Not Pretty recently. The gym all the time. Oh. Really? Why? Oh yeah. Because they'd be because they'd be like hanging with their legs off of a th- yeah. of a pull up bar and doing you know. Some weird. Santos was insane. sending them in. Mm-hmm. So the- I was not. I was not. But I think there's a big difference between there being of, of an overweight person jogging and someone mocking them. I agree with that. Versus someone like truly I, misusing. I, I, I think what you've talked, what you talked about, how there was a correction. Where yes, with someone overweight trying to better themselves, hundred percent. But like, we got too much now where you just can't post people in public. Like, and, and it's not that you can't because people will say, everyone will say you're a piece of shit. It's like everything in the world where there's so the, both extremes where either people will be like, fuck that person deserves to die. And like, oh, no, I was just saying he was being a little goofy. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to have that. Like, yeah. I don't think you should die. And then the people be like, you should die. Like, well, I don't think I should die either. I actually like when I, when I was just over in Amsterdam, I took a picture of a guy who was walking around with a video camcorder. No one does that anymore. I thought it was kind of funny. I never intended to post it, and I didn't. But I was like, if I post this, people would lose their fucking yeah. minds. Mm-hmm. All I'm pointing out is it's a little unorthodox. All I'm saying is, hey, this is a little crazy. This is this is a little unusual. You can't post anything unusual anymore if you're it's a person in public. Mm-hmm. Bad yeah. pedestrian etiquette affects me every single day, though. So I got to go that because that is just constantly. If you go on any escalator, anything in the city at all, even just walking to work. There's people who are walking too slow or just in the way. Yeah, that's every day. Uh, yeah. A pack every of day. tourists with the rolly backpacks behind them or the rolly suitcases behind them okay. taking up like 50 square feet. they get to the top of the escalator, stop and look around. Yeah. Dude, that's oh, the worst. Well done. Oh, my God. Are, are we talking for this? Would, it, would, it, would we also say people that enter a crowded elevator or subway car before people have had the chance to exit? I, I, it feels different. That enough. has to be. I, I nominated it's a good that one, one, but it feels different. I think that's on here. I put that one. Okay. In. Okay. I sorry. Sorry. In, yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay. So it's pedestrianism versus pedestrian etiquette versus filming someone at the gym. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go with pedestrian etiquette. Um, yeah. Pedestrian etiquette. I, I I think pedestrian etiquette is a good one. That really bothered me. Someone just yeah, like walking in the middle of a busy sidewalk and someone just stops. For no rhyme, no rhyme or apparent real. I'll, I'll mutter a little bit. Oh, that was a good place to stop. That was a good place to stop right, right there. I was hoping you'd stop right there, right in the middle of all this tra- uh, foot traffic. Uh, yeah, I actually one time took back an apology on the sidewalk. I was walking and like I just had my, my hands at my side and this guy, I guess like passed me and like his hand hit my hand as he was passing and I instinctively was like oh sorry and then I said actually no <laughs> he looked back I was like well you're late I, was like, already, really... I already accepted it <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's not really, uh, <laughs> really my fault <laughs> <laughs> you like douchebag I already <laughs> I already took your apology um, yeah that's it pedestrian etiquette yeah filming like someone fat at the gym is just such old school bullying that it's <laughs> I mean, who is doing that? We should almost maybe bring it back. It's not even necessarily <laughs> like a fat person. It'd just be like, so, hey, this guy's doing jerking cleans on the Smith machine. What a fucking loser. Oh, uh, I would be tempted to do that. Yeah, it'd be something like that. Yeah. So you're going with um, sidewalk. I, I, I come close at the gym nowadays to people lifting shoeless. Everyone takes their shoes off now. I That's think it's insane. What? Really? Bro, it's crazy. It's everyone. It's 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 at it's at the gym I go to. It's at fucking. It's like a more elite type of lift. No, what gym do you no. go to? Can I ask or no? Yeah, just the New York Sports Club. How close is that? Is there one? All right, we'll talk. We'll talk later. Yeah, <laughs> gym. Um, uh, uh, Stabler goes. He's always there. He like lives there. It's Gooch and Gooch has like half the celebrities in Hollywood. Yeah, Gooch, who? Why are you always seeing like the Jennifer Lawrence, Stabler. Ben Stiller? You saw today. Christopher Maloney from uh, SVU. Oh. Yeah. Um, he's uh, he like I swear to God I think he might live there. I saw um, Ben Stiller this ben morning. Stiller. Electric almost took a video of. Wait, him. this Where? morning, and you saw Jennifer Lawrence last week. Yeah, and Where, fucking Gooch? Sam Rockwell. I'm not. I'm not dropping the name. 
Sam Rockwell it must be Sports either World. an Equinox or a Life Equinox. Lifetime. I'm trying to find the gym. And you work at one of the, you work at one of those boutique like personal training spots. Yeah, he, he just sees them all. The only time I took a picture at gym is when J Lo and A Rod were at my gym. It's the only time I've ever taken. Really? Yeah. What were they doing? Well, they're just a personal trainer doing really weird machine shit with them. Uh, so, um, uh, so it's gym or pedestrian. I'll go pedestrian. Um, just I think the gym isn't as prevalent anymore. But the pedestrian, I actually do sometimes enjoy when someone stops short because I can I can throw up. See, I still got it. I'm like, oh, never mind. I'm like a fucking running back out there. Um, <laughs> But the uh, the one the one that gets me is if you're on your phone walking up the stairs from the subway, like you should just don't because you well, you don't read it when you get up top, but you slow down and there's no need to be slowing down right there. I actually think it should become illegal to walk and be on a cell phone. They walk really wide too when they're on the phone. I don't yeah. know why, but like I feel like because they want their feet to be more stable, they do like a little like more of these. You can't you can't pass someone on the stairs yeah. if they're on their phone? It's impossible. Yeah, uh, so the pedestrian etiquette's going to move on. Now we have the three versus the 14, the three seed. I called it the plane in. So it's plane stuff, not including the one that we mentioned before. Um, so causing a plane to be delayed for any reason. I think that's a guy. It could easily on its own be the one seed. Like if you Pausing? Yeah, like if you... It's rare one. though, isn't it? It is rare, but that's obviously like the... Really? I feel like in my brain, the number one, you are the worst. That's almost plane. closer to murder. Yeah, that's like... A, that's like got to be like... Crime. Like, crime. Sure, I... All right, then we'll dump that. <laughs> no socks on a plane. When you had that, what did you just do? You just break something? No. S I don't know what oh. that is. No socks on a plane. Do you mean like taking your shoes off at all? When you said no no socks on a plane uh, or shoes off on a plane? Yeah, no, taking socks. Shoes off, you can go. Okay. No, anytime you take your shoes off in public, you're you're pissing everyone off. No, I mean, Stop like, doing it. Again, <laughs> as someone, I, I don't ever do it in America. If you're on a transatlantic. <laughs> You're like, I mean, it's eight hours. It's a long time. You kind of wear your shoes. You wore your shoes for eight hours today. Fights. What? It's it's a little different. It's not. I, I, I don't. <laughs> Dude, that makes that makes me want to take them off so bad. Uh, <laughs> these gross socks. Oh, 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 I know my hygiene level, so I it, it's I'm like, I'm fine. If it smelled, I wouldn't take it off. And you don't know your own smells. Just everyone just leave their yeah. shoes on. There's no reason to take their shoes off. You no, know, there's uh, someone here that takes their shoes off all the time, and it's Doug's. He ta he has his shoes off all the fucking time. In the oh, office? Yes. And anytime I've heard oh, someone Doug's. call him on it, he says the same thing. He's like, "What? You think my feet smell?" I'm like, "Yes, yeah, yeah, I do. yeah, yeah, absolutely." <laughs> we do. Just assume everyone's feet yeah. smell. Yes, everyone's feet smells. Leave your shoes on. Stop yeah. being an asshole. Um, and if it bothers you, much, get more comfortable shoes. But you like if if it's if it's something you have to untie, you can't. But if it's just like you just like kind of and like you keep them under the seat, you're all right. But once the socks come off, that's uh, I never. That's seen no. That. You that's got horrible. That's, that's crazy. Tough. Yeah. Um, so that, and also someone put reclining seat. I don't think that's necessarily on top of my head, like a horrible, I hate you an asshole. recliner. I recline now. Yeah. Oh, re you recline? No matter how long the flight uh, is. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you might just be a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> you I, I used, I used to not recline. I used to be the same. I used to be as you climber. And now I'm like, I pay a lot of fucking money for this seat. They can recline. I'd like to be a little more comfortable. It's just, to me, it's the immediate you get in the air and the person does the full yeah, recline. That's why I do it. I do, if I do it, I do it the second I sit. I don't or go, that person gets there. I don't go a full recline. I just go back a little bit. And it's just like. It does objectively make the person behind you more uncomfortable. I don't like, think the way you view do the anything. TV. It reclines two inches. You're only pissing off the guy in back of you. You're not helping yourself even. <laughs> I, I, Such I, a dick move. <laughs> <laughs> it really is like and oh, we all yeah you know, it's awful the recliners are, the, are awful fights it's dude I, I think I started it on the Amtrak because the Amtrak you have a mile the Amtrak you have this far so like it doesn't affect anyone at all and then I think once I, I was more comfortable on the Amtrak and I, I just got into it I got dipped my toe in the water and now when I get on the plane I fucking I recline my seat <sighs> fucking asshole I, I see we what all need saying, to be nice to each other I used to be one of you I used to be like you like how dare you and now, now I don't care if they recline in front of me. I recline. It's fine. So to the summarize, on, on a plane, you are a full recline seat. Uh, not full. Not full recline. You're a recline 
shoes off. Only, person. only, only across the Atlantic, <laughs> not in America. You suck, dude. And then he cuts the line to get off. <laughs> oh, and by the way, if we're still talking, but I don't care when people get up. That's like the biggest thing on Twitter right now. Oh, oh my god, you're a piece of human shit. I, I don't do it, oh. but I, I don't care if someone gets up. I'm like, okay, whatever. What do you mean gets up? Like when people, people like look, early. Dante is the big one. Dante, like, look at all these assholes and people like standing on a landed plane. It's more like, like a problem with their own like. No people. OCD. people no, when the plane lands. I think standing up is. Yeah, but I don't in for four hours. I'm gonna stand up. But you can't. You can't cut the line to get off. That's the issue. It. I don't do that. But that doesn't happen enough to get like. Oh, that happens every flight. I don't. Else. I don't. Yeah, people see cut. That. The, yeah, people cut that every flight. I feel, I feel like, like the most they can cut is their like, bag quick and run. That yes. like I've seen that like twice ever. I oh, don't step ever your pussy up. Fly more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still can't believe that. Yeah. Uh, so is there any other plane etiquette pe- things? I imagine like, we're on the same flight to Chicago tomorrow. I bet no one does it. I bet someone does. Yeah. Uh, any other plain etiquette ones people want to get off their chest? Um, I mean, you could. This is a stretch, but you could argue that if you are not in the aisle and the flight is only, let's say, two or three hours, you get two <laughs> bathroom breaks. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, that was, I thought fair you were going to say no. Hours? I thought you, you don't get no to go to the bathroom and max. make us all get up and unplug our headphones and stop our movies five times. I think two is too many. Yeah, one. What the fuck are you doing? I'm trying hours. to honor Tommy. So I, here's the thing. I'm a very frequent <laughs> pisser, but that's why I have to get an aisle. Yeah. I will not fly without an aisle. You know yourself. So. That's Do you have that. that? Like, does Caitlin Walker know? Like, like, book yeah, she knows. Me. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone else booked me a flight recently. No, they got me a window. And I had oh, to go in Delta and switch it myself. Uh, you have to put that like on the sign upstairs. What if someone Tommy has the poops an and they're farting a lot, you want them to use the bathroom though. That's Who's the thing. farting on an airplane? Jeff D said somebody shit their pants right in front of him yesterday <laughs> <laughs> on an airplane. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Uh, so between those two, what would you rather? Would you ra- or three? I guess. Would you rather no socks on a plane? Just, just I've never seen that, and I hope I never do. But what is this going up against? This is just we don't, don't know yet. Uh, so, or um, or the reclining of the seat. Recline. The Recline. 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 Mm, yeah, recline, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's see recline. The recline is going up against the number 14 seed. Uh, ordering a lot of food and then asking to split the check evenly. When you, oh, when you know that you ordered the most by far. That's why it's a low. It's not a super high seed. But. Splitting the check. I know it's just kind of became a thing with White Sox, Dave. Splitting the check at like mon- uh, itemized is if you're not... If you're not using your parents' money, like when you were in high school and you got 20 bucks or middle school, you got 20 bucks, then you maybe you kept a little more. If you're if you're an adult with a credit card, you just put your card in the pot. Mm. It doesn't matter what anyone Okay, does. but here's the thing. Don't you feel bad? Because I feel like a lot of times when I go to dinner, I get maybe the most expensive, like, you know, or like, I don't want to ever feel like I'm ordering too many drinks and it's going to cost other people money. That's I mean, when, why I when feel bad. When it, I, I don't eat a lot with people who I'm not like very close with. Like, I, I guess if I was at like a business dinner or like a dinner like, where like someone brought a friend who I didn't know, but like, I only eat with like my best friends. I know it comes around. That's why I always hated as a kid when like my friend's parents would take me to dinner. I'd like, order nothing. Yeah, it's like oh, I gotta <laughs> fucking get fucking chicken fingers. I can't get like a steak. I guess. But Tommy, to combat that, you could um, you can either say like, oh, I'll I'll put more in my card, or like I'll handle the tip or something like that. If you yeah, I would say that. Away. But but he's saying like, that almost a lot of people think that even bringing up the concept of that is. Mm. Is rude. I, I would so rather crazy. just pay more than have the conversation with the weight. Like, I would rather pay more too. Oh, and do the but math saying, and like, everything, and like work it out. Everyone's trying to. Get, it's insane. Like, it's nuts. It, use if you're itemizing the men, the bill, you're fucking nuts. Nuts. Which one? You I'd know? be. I'd be very offended if someone's like, let's itemize it. And even even if they're that person who like, I spent the most, guys. If I spend the most, if I clearly spend the most, I'll be. Like, I got it. I'll just get this. Like, don't right. Me. Okay. Um, but other than that, like we're we're arguing over. Ten dollars, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that first reclining, that as a recliner, it, it's that. It was that no matter what it was on a plane. It's that I hate that. No, but you're no, you're you're against what the entry. Yeah. What was the what was the actual thing, Ken Jack? He's saying he's saying the dickhead you, thing if, is to order, order the a, most. If you order the most food and to, to not and ask, to, you're saying that's the proper etiquette. 
Again, if it's if it's look, if everyone else got a salad and I was like, I'll do five steaks, that's nuts. But if you're just everyone's just getting an entree, then you I feel like if in my brain. So what, if it's, what if it's a what if it's a seventy five dollar filet mignon versus someone having a, a chicken dish for twenty five bucks? I I I wouldn't wouldn't offer to. I would, you would order the steak and I, expect uh, the whole table to split it evenly. I, I guess I I. It depends how many people were there. <laughs> it's I, I would most. I've already addressed this. I've said if I Can clearly Carlos spend more, I pay you. for it. If I clearly spend more, would you offer? If I, I would say I got this, guys. No, yeah, but let, I, let's the whole say, dinner. All right, yeah. do that all the time. Yeah. Obviously, if it's a fucking seventy-five and twenty-five, you pay for it. But let's say it's 75, 50, 50, 50, 25. That really fucks the twenty-five person. I, and, I, and and you didn't spend enough as the seventy five person to cover the whole thing. You got drinks too. It makes the it fucks this whole situation up. This is also just you like, could cut out the twenty five person maybe with the people I go to dinner with. We no one ever does this. Yes, no one I've never encountered this either. Like yeah, I'm with I'm with fights in this one. Like you just throw your cards. I, I, I said it comes around. I go to dinner with like five people. We yeah. like who are they? Let's yeah, yeah, you got to be wary. Some people are on a intern or entry level salary. Just you always get there. Yeah. If it's yeah, I'm, I'm 34 years old. I'm not going to dinner with those people. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'll never stop. The funnest people to go to dinner with. Yeah, I, I I've been to dinner with people, you know, and and I'm like, listen, we're gonna fucking ball out, and we're setting the pace, and I will subsidize. Don't worry. Mm. I don't oh, want people yeah. to be. I mean, yeah, that's like, cool. When, yeah. when we go out with like the people who work with us. Yes. I'll be like, yeah, I got it. Yeah. If any of your friends are having a tough time or like, whatever. My friend, when I'm at dinner with my friends is what I'm envisioning in my head. It does not come right. Yeah. But if someone's having a tough time or someone is like doesn't make a lot of money, then you help them out. Yeah. It's what good friends do. This is a no-brainer. Like, Just be kind, and but most time, throw in the- So which one do you think is worse? Ordering the shit ton and, not, and asking to split the bill evenly? Which or- What's happen? Yes. But, but you're or, saying you don't really have a problem with- I don't. Oh, he's saying it doesn't apply to his life. Right. I can't. I. I I would. It's still an issue. It is. Imagine if that happened. Would that bother you more than someone reclining the seat? I guess if it was that clear and that jarring. Someone who's super tone deaf to the financial realities of the table. Yeah. The situation with the Will Compton thing at the at Portnoy's dinner. Does that apply here? I don't remember exactly what it was. He also that's that's ruder than this, in my opinion. I don't think he said thank you. See, he got up and left before the bill came. Uh, Yeah. yeah. So a group of them cannot do that. A group of them left early before the bill. Didn't say they're by and then they just like Brandon, a Brandon left twenty dollars. Brandon left twenty dollars, that's right. Instead of that, that is far ruder to me than getting a steak and and Yeah. Not. But that's also like so rare. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Okay, so which one of those is worse to you? Worse not as it applies to your life, or just which one of those Again, I guess it would be going out to dinner and getting a steak when no one's got water and being like, all right, so I'll even. Mm. <laughs> KB? Yeah, that one. That one, Tommy. Yeah. That one. Uh, it's that one, even though I do think the seat reclining one is pretty bad, too. Clemmer? Yeah, it's reclining here. I guess the other thing, I guess, if that happened to me, if I was in the, I wouldn't care. I would be like, all right, whatever. Next time we go out, I'll work out stuff, work stuff out. I don't know. Mm-hmm. KB? Or sorry, Jay? Please be cl- kind. Don't rewind. Damn it. What? Don't oh, recline. What? Boy, what the hell? I fucked <laughs> up. I was trying to, trying to go with the block. Trying to be clever and, you know. Yeah, I just, just, just cut the in there earlier this really episode. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, number seven seed versus 10 seed. Uh, seven seed, Francis, I'm sure you you hate this one too. Uh, driving the speed limit in the passing lane. Hmm. Well, I would, as a thing. Is it, is it good? Well, that's a good one. That's a good one. People who camp out in the passing lane and yeah. don't and just drive 65, whatever. Yeah, yeah I agree with that. Okay, and that's going up against the number 10 seed. Uh, just bad theater etiquette. So being on your phone, talking loud, yelling, mm. screaming, any of that shit. Uh, so, Jay, which one do you think is worse? Theater etiquette is the worst. I've been in a movie theater when someone uh, was like having a conversation with their phone on. Uh, I have that one of the most rage-filled moments of my life. Dark night. I didn't even remember it. Hey, I was in Aurora. <laughs> it was a rough theater <laughs> experience. Uh, Clemmer. Yeah, theater theater <laughs> etiquette might be like my number one. Like that is just so because you're trapped in theater, you can't. It's just it's awful. It's that is so much worse than almost anything. Yeah, I also derive a little bit of pleasure from passing the person who's camped out in the passing lane. I pass them on the right and give them a look. Grill. Um, and you can typically you can get around those people. Although if it is heavy flow on the on the highway and there is someone just camped in the left. And you can't get past them. 
that's pretty infuriating. But nothing will outdo someone taking a phone call during a movie, which is that happened to me in the first Avengers movie. What? And then it, and then they took a second Random one man. later, and and I turned and said, "I'm sorry, could you not take a call?" And they go, "That's the same guy that gave me a bad look earlier when I did it." Yeah, their friend. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. I was like, "Yes, I still have an issue yeah. with it. I don't know how you." Yeah, Tommy. Yeah, that's an- another unfathomable one. I, I don't know how. Pe- like you know, you you check your you look at your phone a few times for a movie totally fine obviously but like talking but even texting is off because the light is so obvious yeah, like, I, yeah but it didn't move. used to bother me as much i don't text i'm in the back of the theater or something and it's a matinee right but if, if, so, if someone's a, doing it the whole time someone you don't know, text just times. put the phone away for an hour and a half don't text during the movie <laughs> maybe they had a fucking family out. emergency yeah, don't go to the fucking i don't movies. give a fuck if you text yeah i, I, I do oh, this, i do it's I awful do. what i do whole screen lights up i care so much that not only yeah do I does it bother me in the theater that expands to if we're watching TV I don't I it bothers me when you're texting <laughs> like it. really yeah well if, uh, you had this on your list too and I, I think I agree I think it was yours um yeah. when someone texts while they're watching something you like Particularly, I'm like oh my like, yeah. oh you gotta watch this like, yeah great I hate doing that it's more like, than oh, anything like God like we I fucking Give me a half hour. Let like I, yeah. we don't start the movie, and you're like, all right. Like, but isn't it also kind of rude to be like, watch this half hour? Like, you have to watch, watch this. this. No, you could say half an hour, you can say, <laughs> and you can't say, do say, any. The best else. part's yeah, coming yeah. up, but you, <laughs> that's worse. That's, that's worse. So much worse. Yeah. You need the content. Oh. Excuse me, I need no, thirty not, minutes of your life. You. <laughs> if, you, if you had said I don't want to watch movie, I'd be like, all right, fine. Fine. If we decide to watch a movie, let's watch the fucking movie. I wouldn't be I bothered if someone checks the phone. It bothers me. Very why, are they, why all these check? Just put it away for a fucking. Why can we not go a half hour without our phone? And I, I think that's partly why? like I've become more anti phone as a whole. But like, like there was a time in my life when it didn't bother me. And now it's like, well, who am I bothering? It's like, uh, me. Like, yeah. I'm not choosing to be bothered. It's just how my I'm reacting. It's how my brain is processing this. It's bothering me. Right. Like, why don't you just enjoy the movie? I'm trying to, but it, 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 you're, this is ruining it for me. So how do you feel about it, KB? Which way would you vote? What, what are we voting for? That you're voting for the theater, or the you voting theater for- one is insane. That's why I only see That's like, as brazen as the line cutting in my head. I only see like biographical dramas. <laughs> I'm not going to see Ride Along Two. <laughs> Good, great fucking movie. Great movie. Ride Along Two, Ride along two. is the oh, perfect movie. Oh, Ride Along. That's fantastic. well, people might do it there more likely than The Post or Spotlight. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Oh, <laughs> yikes! I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> black Music Month. I, uh, I didn't say black. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I think the theater etiquette should be expanded. So definitely going theater etiquette. Theater etiquette, and then the last matchup we have the number two seed. Number two seed is not putting away your shopping cart, which was the most responded with one. Everyone hates this. Really? I agreed with it. I think putting not putting it away is very rude, especially it's, it's so easy. It's I agree. In the world, I hope oh boy, you fucking do it, don't you? Nope, guys. nope, 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 nope. I put my cart away every single time. I have been told by people who work at shopping carts, shopping plazas, <laughs> oh, no. they like going out and picking them up it's, oh yes it is. no way i was a bagger and i any excuse to go outside i have heard that i have heard that they enjoy going out there hmm. the cart guys aren't the baggers no or is well, it, you know what i mean whoever yeah. the guy like they like going that was my that. job is, to collect oh, i thought you meant like the baggers like the i was about to bag the groceries i but so now it's actually come around where i put it away and i know i'm fucking with that guy where i'm like ah if he's gonna I, but i put it away i want to be very clear i put it away but I do feel a little tinge of, of badness about it. All right, this is going up against the KB plane. I just threw all your options into one plane because they're too many options. It's it's interesting. You have some good ones. Uh, walking on the train before everyone gets off, which we mentioned before. Yeah, that's a great one. Probably gonna pick that. Multiple attempts at opening a locked bathroom door or stall. Uh, just, <laughs> I've never I've never seen that. <laughs> no, that's a good one. Happens a it, lot. You know the second one is that? even harder. Like what? It's a locked door. Yeah. <laughs> like that, the concept of someone being in there is so uh, foreign to them. The lo- the so this kind of falls in. I'm sure, but like the uh, attempt to open the door followed by a knock. It's a single yeah. bathroom. Yeah, it's, yeah. The door's locked. What are you fucking? I got it. Now I got to speak yeah. up here. This what would happen crazy. if no one said anything? Like, what would you crawl <laughs> under the stall? Like, well, what's the next step there? Uh, breaking out in song? <laughs> yeah, even if it's like we're friends, don't do that. <laughs> like, start singing like a rap, especially if it's like a rap verse. <laughs> do you mean like 
singing along to uh, oh, something just, uh, just acapella, acapelloing a song, gotcha. acapella. Yeah, that'd be weird. Any Dumbo exercise right in front of the mirror? Yep, I'm with you. This is a gym specific, but yes. using the weight bench as a placeholder for your gym equipment. Yeah, you're not using the bench. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> any further attempt at sidewalk solicitation after the initial denial? Great one. Yeah, great one. Uh, p- pacing one foot in front of me to try and hasten my rack session. So you just a lot of like, these gym shit. That I, w- I would just left the gym when I did this. <laughs> <laughs> a group of three or five people at one bench. <laughs> you, you, we, can get, we can speed through the gym shit. Camping out in a rack and super <laughs> plus exercises that don't require the rack. It's making me seem bad. <laughs> Stop I it. Think, I, I think uh, your phone should be banned at the gym. I, 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 I'm, I'm, you can tell I'm starting to be uh, I'm gonna be pretty heavy anti phone here, but the I need to listen to music, brother. I'm sorry. No, uh, yeah, I know it doesn't. It doesn't work. You shouldn't be able to be on your phone because people would. It, you, I'm taking five minutes. Oh yeah, set. so long in between like, sets. It's insane. Yeah. Uh, anyone doing preacher curls? What was that about? I didn't put that. <laughs> <I just> put <laughs> that <laughs> the foremost exercise in my routine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the last one, which you mentioned already, um, stopping to look around at the top of an escalator or staircase, but that's included underneath another one. Yes. So one of the 20 gym ones or walking up on a train or trying to walk in on a train before everyone gets off. That's that's the one I'm picking. Or elevator. We, or, I can conclude elevator on yeah. that. Or multiple attempts at opening a locked bathroom door stall, breaking out in song. I don't think I've ever had an issue with that. Yeah. It's annoying when it happens, but it's so rare. Like strangers. You got to get like, less Whistling is annoying. Like if someone whistles, the will... selfish act someone can do. <laughs> <laughs> Whistling that's, 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 only that's makes that hyperbole, hyperbole went way too far. Yeah. No, it's not hyperbole. It's it, think yeah, of, I was kind of kidding. I, I'm not. Whistling is. How loud can you whistle? Clip? Yeah, but only you enjoy that. It's for, it's for nobody else's benefit. It's you only your it. own. You can whistle. do it real loud. Let me hear. It. Do they I all find that t- rather pleasant. <laughs> You like when people whistle around you? Like if you do, it doesn't happen often enough for me to have a real opinion on it, but this is nice right now. I think it's so annoying. You ready that one? <laughs> I love this one. You would be able to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, in middle school, fucking chicks loved it. <laughs> no, they didn't at all. Uh, so, who went last last time? Was that you? Ch- no. Hey, I have a question. I don't think it's going to win, but the solicitation, it was like multiple. Multiple times. When that happens, when you're walking down the street and, you know, some guy in a badge is like, excuse me, sir, do you have a minute to talk? Do you know someone with autism? Do you blah, 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 blah? Do you acknowledge them at all, no. or do you just keep walking? Uh, just a no. I do like this at most. Like sometimes like, I just walk, but it's such a crazy. It's like just that's uh, just another human being, and you're just like stone, like just not even acknowledging their. I, 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 I actually resent right. them. I, I resent them too, but I don't know. There's something I, was, I, was I don't care about you. No, yeah, I did that once where I, I ignored the guy completely, and. I was wearing like a, a like a shirt I have obviously, and the guy just goes nice fucking shirt, and I was like what the hell that was really aggressive, and I got I we, I was walking here a guy here I, I, we started recording right away and I was like hey Google like orange vests and the ASPCA it was ASPCA. fucking uh, and it was clearly a fake like it was a faux fur shirt but I think he thought I didn't even know what he was asking me for rights for uh, I ignored him but I was like all right that's a fair response. Jesus Christ. Uh, so which one do we do? We want the train one or do we want the locked bathroom? I feel like those two are the train train train. Both good, though. But yeah, Both good. Sure. So we'll do train versus not putting away the cart fights. Um, I will go train. But again, I, that's it's just that right there. That, that tinge of badness. That's that's the exact uh, hesitation I have before I put away the cart. I'm going to put it away. But I'm like, ah, the guy I'm taking away a little bit of his joy. But it's train. Drain, KB? If the cart's blocking a car, then the, the cart. Yeah. <laughs> if someone, if it's like blocking someone from backing out, then the cart. <laughs> so in the, that very yeah, hyper I'm specific mad scenario. Thinking about it, yeah. All right, so one to one. Yeah, this is just based on what I deal with more. Um, if I, you know, I don't grocery shop much. If I do it, I'm in the city to Trader Joe's where I'm not. It's not really too applicable. Uh, so. I'll, I'll go with the, the again the train one. I I hate to keep saying it. It's unfathomable. I just just fucking. I don't wait. think you hate it because you keep doing. I just it. wait for fucking people to get off. I just don't. I just can't wrap my head around how someone would think it's okay. He's lev- never let anyone in his life get off before him ever. <laughs> Francis. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh-huh. I think that the lack of humanity in 
bum rushing a train to, I presume, ensure that you get a seat or instead of waiting for everyone to get off is is evil. There's evil in that. It's It goes beyond, you know, f- defaulting on your citizenship. So um, I'll go with the train one for sure. Train one? The best thing is when you when they do that, they... Like, and you tell them, like, no, we have to get off first. They become upset. They're like, oh. They always get upset. Yeah. I wish it was more of a burden. They're mad that, like, they're, you called them out for being a rude asshole. Like, and they're like, oh, well, I guess I got to wait now. Like, you got to get you gotta get big and walk out with your shoulders broad. You got to walk out of the train with your arms, cut your elbows out. You got to create. If you see it, if you see it coming, because you're pulling in and you can sense that somebody waiting on the platform right there, they're not... They're not getting away from. They're not getting to the side of the door. They're just standing right where it's going to open. Ah, I welcome that. I kind of like it. I'm going to assault them. We're we're it's a we're try to try to move me. Try to move me. I'm bigger. I'm bigger than you, young lady. (laughs) I'm barreling through you. I'm coming through you, (laughs) and you're going to fall. You should wear like the sunglass camera and like do like a highlight taping. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, just truck sticking. Oh, it's Oklahoma drill for, yeah. <laughs> for people commuting. Uh, che, definitely the train getting off. That's uh, I, I'm not as, as much bothered by the cart thing. Like I do return my cart, but people that don't, all right, it's literally someone's job to get that. So it's like you're keeping them employed. Hmm. Interesting enough. Well, either way, the train's gonna win. Now we can run through our playoffs quick. Uh, being rude to service employees versus listening to music or being on your speakerphone in public. Jay. This is a tough one. This could be a finals matchup. Uh, if I can, if I can make an argument, if I may, for the phone one, it's that it is really a hindrance to the rest of society. Whereas being rude to the service industry is horrible, but it's, it's kind of confined to them. It doesn't affect as yeah. many people. And I feel like the spirit of this is what hurts society and other citizens. So if, if I may. Francis, do you agree? Yeah, I agree with Tommy. I think that is the major issue at hand today is what, what violates society? What, what causes society to break down? What leads us closer to a state of nature? <laughs> Jay. It's hard. I, I, I kind of lean towards the, the server one, but yeah, I guess if we're talking about overall society, then it would be the headphones because at the end of the day, some people are going to be rude. Some people are just dicks and it's going to come off that way and some people are going to get offended. But if you're intentionally forgetting headphones or not forgetting, but intentionally don't have headphones and are blasting whatever it is facetimes phone calls music anything like that you're disrupting a train car a block an area full of people and it can just be prevented by not doing that mm-hmm. so that clever yeah because of what the the game we're playing here by the i agree with tommy's philosophy of like this is that affects more people it affects society more so i'm gonna go with uh the, the not having your pods in francis Oof. This is tough. Che is right. These are two perfect examples, in my opinion. And they they indicate a lack of... It is just fundamentally my life and my time and my comfort are more valuable than that of my fellow man. And in light of that, I almost think you can forgive someone for having their music on their phone more than someone getting on the train first because Wait, oh no it's it's uh versus the rude to service people oh excuse me that was the whole speech i gave i <laughs> we've been doing this for so long now that i've become very disoriented um i'm gonna go with the music one music one i think that i think that yeah music one music one yeah we remember my speech <laughs> sure do. Um, yeah, what was I, I? I think I understood the premise, but what did you say? Just that I think that the no headphones one is more a hindrance to like the whole of society. Whereas if you're just being mean to right. that's service worker, that's almost like a specific thing where you're not affecting. You're not really affecting the other people at the restaurant. I mean, they might be like, "Oh, that's kind of awkward," but you're not really affecting the other people at the restaurant as much as you would be if you were loudly playing something on your phone at the restaurant. 
This is a good battle, though. Yeah. You're gonna oh, heavens what? yes. <laughs> <laughs> heavens yeah. Wow. <laughs> what did you vote? I voted for the, the lack of headphones one. I think the people that do that are mostly from like, they have psychiatric issues, maybe low income. The people. <laughs> they have phones. <laughs> Not headphones. <laughs> I I think I'm more, the people who are just rude to a server. Uh, I think that's a. But but if I may, so, what would affect the greater society is if you're on a you're on a um you're on a, a plane and someone's rude. To I think the, being rude the to the stewardess a, versus being versus like play versus a FaceTime. I think being directly rude to another individual is worse than being indirectly unpleasant i agree it makes you a worse person you could argue that's that, not what that playing this the set the music on the crowded train is rude Very to rude all to those people, people. Yeah. right it's that's what i'm saying is it's rude to more people it might it, it might is, not be as malicious it's, it's, it's not as it's, concentratedly rude. right i'm picturing a subway but again in the spirit a picture like a long island railroad Let's or a new jersey this, that's Transit. the winner that's Amtrak. the winner yeah uh yeah oh, okay um a waiter can deserve for you to be rude to them. No one ever True. deserves to hear what you're doing on your phone. That's a good point. Very fair point. Great point. That's actually way better than Tommy's point. I'm really glad we squeezed That's the juice mean. out of that one. <laughs> uh, now, uh, the line, line cutting of any tie of any kind whatsoever versus poor dog etiquette. Poor dog etiquette. Poor dog etiquette. Yep. KB? Yeah, it's shit and all that. Yeah. Shit and all that. I'm still going line cutting. Not nothing. I feel like is a greater line embodiment. It's kind of funny though. <laughs> it is, but nothing a greater embodiment of you know what your time not as valuable as my time. I need to be. We're going to the same place, but I need to be there sooner because my life yeah. matters more. That to me is it's the greatest citizenship foul of all. Mm -hmm. Francis. Okay, this one is hard. These are two things that really make my blood boil. And two causes upon which I plant my flag as a citizen. Um, but I can't, I, I think my cause de guerre is the line cutting one. So I have to stick with that. Line cutting. Clemmer, you get to break it. Line cutting is so brazen. It's almost, I'm always kind of impressed slightly when someone does it. I'm like, I can't believe this person's doing this. When I step in shit, there's, I'm not impressed at all. So it's going to be dog etiquette. <laughs> yeah, dog etiquette. <laughs> Uh, so dog etiquette versus uh, playing music, being on your speakerphone, whatever else, to go into the finals. Bummer. Oh, boy. Uh, playing music affects me. I feel like that happens so often. I step in dog training once or twice a year, so at most. And I have dogs. So I'm going to go with the, uh, the music, playing the music in, in public places. Music in public. Friends. I think that it's not just stepping in the shit, but seeing it and having to avoid it and smelling it and having to keep your dogs away from it. That sucks. Um, with that said... There is, there are reasons why someone can't pick up the dog poop. They've run out of bags, whatever. I think that line cutting, wait, is it line That's cutting? dog poop versus the music in. Oh, the music. Golly, I keep losing track of this. Um, I still think I'm going to go with music on this one, believe it or not. Music? Tommy? The line cutting is, I feel like we're forgetting how strong of a one the line cutting is. I think that when we're considering everything it embodies. It's, it's not even up. <laughs> yeah dude i'm oh, sorry dog poop oh, man. man i got confused too that's probably my fault dog poop versus music the music on your phone they're playing shit on your music oh. and uh, we, we, um, we defeated line cutting yes. which i yeah, i'm surprised that we lost that clemmer beat line cutting with dog poop dog uh i'm gonna go the dog poop i really i uh, i just just fucking pick pick it up mm-hmm I mean, but picking up shit does suck. Yeah, yeah. And then now you're picking it's it up. It's part your of your contract yeah. in getting a dog. I need a dog, and I'm trying to say why it, it's not going to beat the phone for me. Mm -hmm. That's kind of funny to imagine, like a guy not picking it up. Wow, it's, like, oh, that's it's gross. disgusting. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not. Why do you want me to touch this? <laughs> it just made me really quick. It made me think that um, when you get a dog, right, that is you are contractually signing up for. I I I will pick up the poop, and I also think. That one we didn't have, which is parents of young children who just allow their kids to go up and bother other people. Mm. Run rampant. Off their oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cause havoc. Ah, yeah. oh, they're a young kid. Yeah. Or their dog. 
People who are like, ah, that's what he does. He's just right. Don't worry about it. Like, get it the fuck away from get me. Your pit bull away from my toddler, <laughs> please. I don't care how much you say won't bite. Uh, Gibby? The phone. Phone one? Phone. Phone one. Phone one's going to the finals uh, to go against it. The split check thing we talked about earlier versus pedestrian etiquette with the stairways escalators thing. Pedestrian etiquette. Pedestrian etiquette. Pete- uh, yeah, that. Pedestrian, pedestrian easy, 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 easy. You're gonna win, but for mm, I guess I would. I don't know. I still don't really know what that is, but I, I would actually go with the split check issue here. Split check. A, gr- a group of four thinking, walking like, down the in sidewalk, the of the sidewalk. Like, taking up the whole width, the whole sidewalk, okay. walking slow. Stopping, yeah, yeah, that's stop, pretty bad. Your phone. Yeah, okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Sure, I'll go with that instead. Uh, now we have the train uh, issue that we were talking about before. The film, our number fifteen, the walking on the train before everyone else gets off, versus the uh, be- brood theater etiquette. Ooh, Climber. Oh, it's theater really etiquette. That's the drives me crazy. It, it ruins movies. I get so excited to see the movie. I go. I get, it, I, it infuriates me just thinking about it. Climber and I are so simpatico on the, some, and the others we are complete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Ah, those are these are both two real asshole moves. Real asshole moves. I can justify someone taking a call in a theater more than I can justify somebody or or even texting in a theater more than I can ever justify somebody getting on while there's a huge crowd of people trying to get off. So I'm gonna go with the train one. Train one, Tommy? Theater crazy i can't just taking a call during it's a movie the emergency you know leave, yeah, walk right? outside ah, shit. Oh. sorry i gotta go you know yeah that's fine but if you're if you're what's, what's the reason that anyone should ever get on a subway at rush hour as a group of people are trying to get off they're in a rush to and they need to be what's what's the reason you can't just take spot? the call outside the movie theater why? Why do you have to stay in the movie? I've never I don't experienced. Know. You're, you're, it's this. Emer- it's emergency. I, only see, like, I don't see an emergency where someone needs to get on the train. Emer- you an- you can. An- it's fine if you answer it and you're and talk- get out as you're walking out. Like no, just just to be. I agree, but it, that, it's, less egg- it's less egregious than sitting there having a conversation in the chair. Yeah, <laughs> at least you're making the effort of oh shit, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, yeah, I agree. They're both really bad. I, I they, this is you know what what do they say? Like birds of a feather, or like uh, shades of gray, Poison, shades of gray. Yeah. Theater. If it's even if it's not a phone call, you're just talking to your friends. Yes. Mm-hmm. Theater. Theater. Theater's gonna move on now. Theater versus pedestrian etic- etiquette to go into the finals. Theater. Theater. I mean, one affects me more. The... It, it's more about what. But if you're doing that, then uh, do you go to more movies than you ride the I, subway? It's not the subway. Yeah, but no, I know. I know we've eliminated that, but by that ver- by no, that I'd, reason. I've never experienced this at a theater. Oh. Like so, But if I did, or, this would be my number one. Like texting or talking or anything? Texting is fine again. No, I it's not. That. Like speaking, like talking if out loud. You're speaking in a movie theater during the movie. That's the worst. Mm-hmm. I, I almost even hate like too loud of laughers at the movie like, or, or like the commentary guy. Yeah. Oh, he's like, oh, my God. Like he needs Don't to give that. his little this again. Yeah. The, yeah. Not even negative. Just like, oh, oh, oh. Bitch, look out. Yeah. yeah I don't that, mind that. I find those funny. He means, um, means over to his wife. He's like, yeah, the rocks in that movie during the trailers or something like you, that. Yeah. But the pedestrian etiquette is. I really don't think I almost ever get as angry as someone just yeah. stopping dead in front of my tracks on the fucking sidewalk. Keep it moving. Go to the side. I don't think that... Is that still in it? Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's pedestrian, the pedestrian versus theaters. Oh. Theater etiquette. Oh, okay. Jesus. Oh, it's to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I will go with theater. I think theater... Because people have paid to enjoy that experience. It's an event. We all don't go to that many movies anymore. And for you to ruin everyone else's experience by doing that is so selfish. Mm-hmm. If someone's a shitty walker on the sidewalk, I can just cross the street and avoid them. I'm trapped in the movie theater with you being an asshole. Having said that, I think trailers are fine. You can do what you want during the trailers. Yeah. But once the movie starts, shut the fuck up, put the phone away. Theater etiquette. Oh, theater etiquette. I, I don't think that's okay during the trailer. I don't do it, but I have more leeway there. I think the trailers are a major texting. part of the movie going experience. You're forced to get to watch commercials. I think so if it's you're like, texting eh. during the, the trailers, I don't even give a shit. I don't either. It's during the movie. Care. Texting I, I again, I'm pretty fine with. Yeah. But if someone's talking loudly during Texting the makes the everything light up. It's like it's so distracting. I think it, it for like four seats in your line of sight. No. no. Yeah. If you're some guy sitting near the bottom of the row, like your light blasts. Yes. And especially in certain theaters where they don't have a big dip between the seats. I guess it's, it's bad. Put the phone away. Um, so now we're going to have our finals. You really are a miserable person. 
<laughs> Finals, the yeah. music and the speakerphone versus bad theater etiquette. Clemmer. I, the bad one. theater etiquette for me, it, it really makes me upset. It, and I, I think it's part of the being trapped thing. Theater etiquette. Yeah, theater etiquette. I think, I just want to say, I think this has been a really good bracket because I think there could have been six winners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's never been this unclear for me. I mean, I I've, I struggle here. Um, theater etiquette or loud phone, they're similar. But uh, I'll go with, I'm going to go with loud phone just to see how this plays out. Loud phone. Tommy. This is tough. I, I agree. It's been a great, a lot of great matchups. I somehow don't really love this final matchup. I don't know how we ended up with these two because I feel like they're very similar, but they are both bad. I'm going to go with the theater etiquette, and if I may offer an explanation, it is because you are in a place where you're supposed to be quiet. It's a, a society agrees that you're supposed to be quiet at this place, whereas, yeah, a train, you're, you're supposed to be quiet, a plane, whatever, even you're walking down the street, you shouldn't be blasting music, but there's not as much of a like the movie theater is the place that you are supposed to be quiet it's you know a library i mean who goes there but whatever a movie theater uh i'm gonna go with with that I think if someone took a facetime call during a movie that could be the able ultimate. to murder them yeah like that's really bad gb i just can't imagine these such you know, uh, the theater one is worse it's just worse theater's gonna win but fights theater theater uh, the facetime oh, that's all i can think about now Wait. it's making me mad yeah, it was the it's theater enrages me more because I'm forced to deal with the phone more. So I I'm I can deal with it more often. Yeah, you deal with it every time you're on the subway. And if you're if you're yeah, you could put your headphones in if someone's got yeah. their phone out. Yeah, theater, there you're not trying on the train. It's not like you're desperately trying to focus on right. something that in you will theater. now miss out on because of someone else's malfeasance. Yeah. They're all collectively listening to something. So someone is like intentionally fucking that up for everybody. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's what it's we're true. saying. It's a great point. Uh, the winner of episode 81, Bad Oof. Movie Theater Etiquette. That was good. I like yeah. that. Yeah. That was a lot of good I options. I just pat my own back. I know this was my category, but I, I, I really enjoyed that. Good. Uh, thank you for all the listeners that they all gave really good submissions. Those are a really good list. Uh, but we'll see you again next week with a brand new topic. Yeah.